So let me show you a little bit of my inspiration. Um, you know, guys know I was at our wreath retreat we had last week. Um, and I picked this cool spider up at one of the stores here in Houston. The store is Arcadia. And um, it is really cool. I love it. I love these jeweled eyes and these legs. So we're going to use this. I know that for sure. Um, I love that one. Then we got a new witch in who she's got the cute witchy boots. So we're going to use her. Look at her boots. Uh, she's got a skull dress on. Hey, me, hey, good to see you. Hey, Sylvia. Hi, Nicole. Great to see you. So we're going to be putting her in and the witch. And then I don't know what else. We're going to start there. We're going to start there. We may have to come back and add ribbon and stuff later because I don't didn't have time to pick up ribbon this morning. Um, but we'll get the wreath started without it. And then we'll go from there. Let me make sure my glue pot's coming on. Oh, I didn't plug it up. It does not come on if you don't plug it up. That's 100%, right? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's figure out. First, I'm going to go around this wreath and kind of give it a Halloween vibe with some of our black garlands. I'm going to do that first. Start fluffing it out. And begin the process there. This is sticking all to me, you know? Hey, Bobby. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Teresa. Um, look at this. We're going to put this in first. So I'm just going to start fluffing it and we'll put it all around. So, Debbie, you have any craft shows coming up? Do you? Do you? Anything good? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Jan. Oh, well, I'm glad you're here. Take it easy. Get better. We want you happy and healthy. Sometimes it's good to take a day off. I need to take my own advice, though. I'm, I'm good at giving advice. Harder to take it. Hey, Melody, how are you doing? Oh, that was sweet, Nicole. Tell her to feel better. That's so sweet. All right, I'm just fluffing it out. You guys, design school opens up at the end of this month, and so um, in design school, I teach you not just how to do a project, but the whys behind the placement. So you can start to get your own designer's eye. So stay tuned. We'll be telling you lots more about it. And if you want to also get more information about design school, just text me at the number at the top. Just text design school. And if you're not seeing the number right now during the live, just touch the screen and it'll pop up. Hi, Kay. Amanda's working on custom orders. They stress you out. I know, Amanda. Someday, if you don't want to, you won't have to take them. At first, you always have to take them the first several years, but then you can get there. Oh, look, Nicole posted the wait list in the comments there and you guys can sign up with your email on that link as well for design school yay hey Arlene you're from Texas too what part we're we're down in Houston so I'm just cutting off uh, some pieces we're gonna use this as a background to go around our grapevine wreath kind of getting it started I'm gonna cut off four I think we'll get us going good like it's freestyle on Friday so I'm just winging it and coming up with something fun with some of the new supplies that came in. You know, it's a party, and I'm glad I get to hang out in here with you guys. Hey, Kat, good to see you. Amanda says, great news, you had your skin cancer removed. Oh, good. Oh, I saw that you had to have a lot dug out. I'm sorry, Amanda, but keep working on the scar, right? Arlene, Dallas area, okay, great not far at all we're about four and a half from dallas down here i'm in the south side of houston in sugarland all right i'm gonna start putting this on i think i'm gonna cable tie it hey ari what are you doing ari's up in here y'all she's like oh mommy i'm getting in trouble hey faith yes wreath party right here hey joan from kentucky Thanks for chiming in. Uh, the only reason I'm still using the grapevine base and not just the black base is because this witch I'm going to put on here, she's got some uh, body to her. So I want to make sure that is uh, she's on there good. Uh, hey, Linda. Happy Friday to you, too. Pat, you're from Sugarland too? Me, too, Pat. We're neighbors. 
I always say Houston so people kind of know the just. But uh, Sugar Land. Oh, I got that turned the wrong way. Let me fix it right. We can't have it backward. Let's keep putting these guys around. I'm going to kind of put them to the outside. I just want to make sure this gives it a lot of oomph. Not put it too tight. Ooh, the glue's getting hot now. I smell it heating up. I'll come back and trim these off in a second. I'm just putting one to start with, and then I'll come back and beef them all up. Hey, Lourdes. Good to see you. Thanks for blessing. I appreciate it. Hi, Tommy. Great to see you. Brenda, allergies are just, it just depends. Sometimes I think when I go out to the warehouse in the country out there, even though Amazon's stirring up all that dirt and all that stuff next door, it just depends on the day. I haven't even taken my nasal spray or my uh, Zyrtec or anything this morning. <laughs> I'm living on the edge, you know, living on the edge this in. I really wish I had some gorgeous black and white ribbon or something with me because this um, witch is really elegant, you know. Hi, Marvy. Great to see you. Hey, Teresa. Great to see you live. Thanks for chiming in. Yeah, next week I won't be live very much doing projects. I'll have some replays and some recorded videos for you guys, but um, we have a mastermind meeting, so I'm going to be gone. But I'll update you and just say hello whenever we're uh, out and about and learning stuff, learning all the good technology. Okay, Cheryl, let's let's cross our fingers for a freestyle. Hey, Linda. Oh, hey, Holly. Let me get a drink. Mmm. So, how's everybody doing? Is anybody um, decorating their homes yet for fall? I know it might be a little early. If you don't do Halloween, are you doing fall? Or do you just make and sell everything you do and you don't really decorate too much? Tell us all the things, guys. We need to know. Here in the Bloom Room, we need to know. to just take and twist these together a little. Make sure they're not going to come off. Really, they're just for background. I'm not going to be attaching anything to them, but I want to make sure they're tight to my uh, project. Yeah, just pull them around. Let's go over here. I forgot to leave the air conditioner on in the garage this morning, so y'all, it is hot in here. Even though it's cooler outside, it's not like cool, cool where it would cool off the garage, you know. <laughs> uh, Ellen has been making wreaths like crazy. I love that. Ellen, did you did you just post one with the the uh, pumpkins and the lamb's ear? Was that you? Happy Friday, Mary. I sent you an email back on the poinsettias, okay? Um, so you can find those. Richard got them up for you. All right. Voila. The wreath base has started. Oh, Ari's laying under the table in front of the fan. She's she's found her spot on the cool concrete. <laughs> huh. You are decorating, but you can't seem to get, get it done. Many interruptions. I totally, totally understand. Oh, that's not yours, Ellen. Okay. Sorry. No lambs here and pumpkins. Okay. You would know. <laughs> Mary, you got them? Okay. Yay. Good. That was quick. Oh, Lord. Oh, you want to be, you want to attack me. Okay, let me get the witch in next. Hold on, guys. I have an avalanche. Uh, I know I want to use this garland, but I'm going to use it very last because it's got the coolest twigs and spiders on it but it also wants to uh, catch on everything so we'll cut it up and put it in at the end okay cooperate jeez 
Um, linen makes and sells as a hobby to decorate, but you haven't done your house yet. I, I understand, Linda. Might be a little early. You'll get there. Okay. Let's see how I'm going to attach her. She's on kind of of a hard base. I probably will just go around her waist to be safe. And we'll put her in. Make a little basket of all the tags. I know, Ellen, all the witches. I know, me too. I love these little boots on her. You know, some of the Halloween stuff gets here late, but I have to play with it. I just have to get it in and play with it. Let me see if I can go under her little uh, over part of her dress so it'll hide it. So I'm just going to pull this little part of her skirt up and then attach it underneath there. Underneath her broom and everything. We'll see if it doesn't show then. Hey Marie, good afternoon to you. Sylvia, me too. Hey Cheryl, your first time welcome. Any other first timers say hello. Y'all, if you want to get uh, live alerts or get links to the supplies for this project, um, up in the description of, on this post, if you touch the screen, you can text us at that number and we'll send you those things. All right? You can also go to Cleese.com and get on our email list, but we're a lot better at texting than emailing. Just full disclosure. <laughs> okay, so that worked pretty good. You can't see it. Yay! And I think I'm going to put her, like, right in this area. I'm going to try to get her over to the side. At least start by attaching her here, and then I'm going to put some more probably underneath her. See what else we can go to. Y'all, it's, you know, it's fun to put big, unusual things in wreaths. Why? Because it's just fun. It's like a challenge. Do y'all like a challenge? I do. I'm like, bring on the challenge. Okay, first attachment on. Now I want to be able to pull her a little bit this way too. Kind of counterbalance that. So I'm going to go. Oh, what she's made out of. I'm going to try to go right under her skirt a little bit. With my all. Oh, the few scissors. And a dowel rod. We'll get up under there. Um, hey, Dottie. Hey, Chrissy. Teresa, me too. I think they're so fun. I mean, I was a sucker for the striped legs and the boots. I was like, yes, must have. Oh, and Teresa, look at the spider with the jeweled eyes. We're going to put her, this is a girl spider. We're going to put her with it. Isn't that cute? I love that. I was going to get like four of these spiders. They had all different patterns, but I, I control myself just a little bit. They were super, super cute. So I'm just cutting a little hole in the fabric so I can run the cable tie down this way. To kind of keep her from wiggling around. Excuse me, madame. I must get under your skirt. Get into your area. All right, cool. So I'm gonna pull this back a little. And another place that sometimes works to attach, it can't take all the weight, but it could hold your back some, is the neck area on your pieces. Um, if you can see it, it's not a problem because you can always um, come back and add a little bow or something right in that area where they won't, where your customer won't be able to see it or just clean it up and make it look neat. Sorry, I'm fighting with a cable tie here in her dress. Where did you go? This is going to take a second. She's an honorary little witch. She says, I might be little, but I'm a boss of this situation. There we go. And that's pulling her in nice. Okay, let me get her skirt in its happy place. There she is. Cute. I like her. Now, I'm going to build out this base a little bit more with that uh, pine. Oh, y'all, I'm hot in here. Uh, I'm sorry, Marie. We'll pray for her for sure. Ah, um, uh, yes, Carrie. 
Yes. Hey, John. Good to be here. I mean, I'm glad you're here. I'm good, glad. John, you know what I'm trying to say. Glad you're here. Good to see you. I'm going to say just things all mixed up. Oh, boy. The day has just begun. This too shall pass. All right, she's in, guys. I mean, think of all the options you can do once you get her in. Big bow. Bada, bada bing, bada boom. I mean, we're going to put a spider there. But so many things you can do. Now, I was going to put more black up here. But that would kind of wash out the spider. I think I'm going to try to get the spider up high like this. Let's give that a try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I've got these, guys. These are supposed to be for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. You understand. Um, these are Christmas. They're kind of a champagne -y silver, and I thought these would look great with her um, outfit. Anyway, excited. Let's do this. Let's get this big old spider up in there. Look at these legs. I might have to go back and get those other spiders. Are you? What are you doing? She's up to no good, guys. For sure. Okay, I'm going to want this way up here, kind of off the top. Put this in there. At an angle. So what's been your, uh, those of you who are selling, what has been your biggest seller so far this year? Or what's been popular? Or if you're not a seller, you're just a creator and you like to create, what's been your favorite thing to make? Tell me about it. I want to know all the things. Uh, yeah, Debbie, this spider is foam. I, the spider we don't sell, I got it at the retreat when we were shopping at Arcadia, Debbie. So we don't sell this one, but I had to have it. I'm going to use this to just cover up his little stick, kind of go around it before I even put it in. Penny, I know. Hi, Trudy. Good to see you. Yes, all the blue merinos are in the house with us. We're blooming. Halloween style right now. Okay. So I think I'm going to try to put this in like right about here. Let's see if I can get it where I want it. It's a little tricky. A little tricky, tricky. Okay, I like that. Oh, that's fun already. I like it already. Super cute. Okay, so I gotta glue it in though. And I need my stick. So normally I would dip the stick before I glued it, but in this situation, I really couldn't get in there and handle all that. So I'm just gonna come back in with glue after. And then I'll wiggle my stick around. Make sure it's grabbing it. Sorry, darling, I just threw glue on you. I'll get that off, ma'am. Don't worry about that right there. You will have no glue strings when it's done. All right, let me hide my glue. And then let me just use a little bit of this um, pine, the black pine, to tie it in here, just for a little extra security. Double, double doozy. Cute. I love that. Do y'all ever do this? You make something new and you're like, now I need to add that theme to my decor. <laughs> I certainly do. Uh, you need the other spiders for your garland? Uh, Debbie. Yes, don't 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 help me. Hi Dylan, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, it's a different spider though, Nicole, that we do have a different spider. It's black and white striped. This one uh, has skulls on it, but the one Nicole posted is a little bit different, but it's really cute too. Uh, <laughs> it is, Trudy. It was a fancy spider too. <laughs> as far as the pocketbook went, it was a nice spider. Um, Marie has been painting and distressing everything in the house, stenciling some things. Just join Chocotour. How fun, Marie. I'm sure when you join, you're like all over it, right? Good for you. There's so many fun things you can do with that. 
Hey, Alice, what is this? You're here. Yeah, I just got to hang out with Alice all weekend at the Reef Retreat. We had a great time. We did. Totally dress up the spider. Yes. Thanks, Sandy. Yeah. Not, I mean, I know everybody doesn't uh, necessarily do Halloween, but I just have fun with it. You know, um, elegant, fun, whimsical, cute. I like that. I don't do too much gore stuff. I like, I like spooky better than gory. But, um, you know, I can appreciate people's creativity no matter what it is. As long as it's done in uh, good taste, I can appreciate it. All right. So let's work. I think we're going to work on putting some of this pretty um, silver tinsel pick in because I think that's going to look really cool around the spider up here. This one's really for Christmas, but I think it's going to work great in here. Oh, your meeting ended early. Good for you, Alice. It's Friday, right? You like the witch's boots? Thanks, Cheryl. That That is a technique we learned in design school. So it's in our training in there. Oh, Debbie, we're not sure right now when we're going to have another one. We got to let the whole situation calm down. But we got through our two this year, and we both turned out pretty nice considering all the obstacles we had to overcome. We had a nice time. All right, kind of like that. So far, so good. All right. I zoomed in a little get bit for you guys. I'm just going to try to get into it and have fun here now. Got some black and white balls too that I thought were pretty fun. Where's the other picture there? Let me see where we might put these. Hey Sue, way to check in. Joan, my hair is getting long. Joan, I keep threatening it's going away. It's going to get cut off. That's no haircut, you know? I've got to go. I think those will be fun too. Make it a little whimsical. Let's put some of these in. Hey, Kathy, she's doing fine. She's doing fine. She was over uh, for Kaya's birthday and we had a nice visit. And Kaya, of course, they popped off um, party poppers. Kaya's my daughter, guys. And, uh, she just turned 11. They had a good time. Oh. Okay. Brenda, if you're still here, you, you, you hit the uh, allergy bug. You just kicked in. Little allergy bug. Are you the allergy bug? You're the allergy spider, aren't you? Alright, I'm going to put these in, kind of coming down. Looping around. We'll see. I can always pull it out if I don't like it. Just getting going here, guys. I'll put this one over here. I like these balls. I think they're fun. You can use them anytime. Maybe we'll have that one kind of come down. Some more twigs too we can put in. We just have a pate. Excuse me. I will, Kathy. <laughs> your eyes, your eyes water all, all, every day, Brenda. Yeah, and then the worst thing is your nose is running. I'm like, right now I'm gonna have a voice, you know, crack, and I'm like, it's just allergies. It's okay. Everyone relax. Or if you have to cough. You're like, don't judge me because I'm coughing. <laughs> okay. So far, we've got some balls. We got a spider. I'm gonna add more fun tinsel and get this filled off, filled up, not off. Uh, it's already gonna be that kind of day, y'all. Because I have to go out of town in two days for um, 
the mastermind meeting and so my list is 100 miles long right Ari Ari's looking at me like mommy no no hey honey bunny honey bunny you want to you want a, a break he's popped in to you coming to get Ari he's not speaking to me huh? hi honey bunny. <laughs> hello He's walking in the garage in his socks, so he is sweeping a path that's clear. So y'all know, y'all know if you do that, your husband might sweep if you leave a mess. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Joan. Wearing a mask, you, you ready to come guys, with me? Hacking, oh, yeah. hacking coughs for sure. You ready to come with me? You want to come inside? She's like, Daddy, I don't think I want to come inside. I'm perfectly yeah, fine. You're, you're having fun out here with Yeah, the Mommy's right here. Okay. When she first came to live with us last year, she would never want to leave my side. But she's much more confident and comfortable now. Okay. She's with you? Okay. He took her. Ari's in. So are there any mesh wreathers in the house? People who love to make mesh wreaths? Yes, everyone looks at you like I have a disease. Yes, and then the other day I tried to hold in a cough and then it spontaneously came out. It was like, bah! I thought, okay, just let the coughs go. You cannot hold the coughs in. That is not working. That technique, no working. It's like you have a body explosion. <laughs> okay, so here's what we got going so far. It's turning out pretty cute. Pretty cute. There she is with her big spider. Her balls are in there. I don't know if we're going to have more balls or not. We might, we may not. Maybe we'll change that center one. Usually I have to walk away and come back and see what I like or what I don't. When I'm doing a brand new design, like something I've never even worked with, she's really cute be cool if I had some jewels too. I have some white pumpkins. Let me see what those would look like in here too. Cheryl wants to learn how to make a mesh wreath. Uh, Cheryl, you can learn from so many people. Just go onto YouTube and you can learn for sure. Um, I don't teach any mesh. I don't really use it very much. I, I did when I had to back, back in the days um, when that's really what everyone wanted. But now I, I do all grapevine. Jace will use mesh, but he doesn't really like it. But yeah, I understand that totally. Carrie makes both, but she really likes grapevine. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Let me see if pumpkins would look. Any? Oh, hey. Hey. Let me see about maybe taking this one. And moving it. So should she wiggle just a little, I'm going to wire her leg in on that spider. I'll leave that for now. I might do something different with it. I kind of like the little pumpkin there. Let me think on it. I'm just setting them in first. Bobby, you do? Cool. Uh... Exactly, Cheryl. I understand totally. Marie loves making great buckets. Me too, Marie. Definitely my jam. Now, if I could get a cute little jewel that would match her rhinestones and kind of jewel up these pumpkins, I could do that. That would be cute. I kind of like that. I want some more um, bling bling on the side over there. Part of my grandma bling bling. these stems I, that's a great idea I can't really cut them because they'll come um, apart kind of messy and I don't want to do that but either I'll, I'll weave it in like ribbon I might just take this and weave it in like it's ribbon like tuck it under or something like that and I could bring some more over here we'll see if that would work okay now so I could maybe zigzag it around that way 
and treat it like ribbon. That would be fun. Um, Nicole says, I need to get the Buds, Berry, and Branches subscription. Yes. Yes, guys, we do have a subscription box. And I haven't opened that one from last month yet to show you guys. Uh, so stay tuned. Usually I'll open the subscription box that all of our subscribers have already gotten. It's not available anymore and show it to you. So I might have time to do that later today. We'll see. It'll be up here on the page if I do. If I do. Um, Teresa, it opens up at the end of the month. So like the last week of August, you'll start getting all the emails. So it'll be exciting. Very exciting. Carrie, that would be really cute. Yes, you could definitely put that in here. I'll, I'll go see what like little jewelry findings they have, and I'm gonna bling up these pumpkins a little. There's a little spider here. Those are just sitting there. I haven't, haven't decided whether I'm keeping them or not. They're just in so far. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna go on the outside of her a little bit. We'll continue over with the party on this side. All righty, some good glue on here. Kind of getting lost in the moment, just enjoying it. Okay, I'm keeping the two pumpkins beside her right here. I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna go ahead and stake them. I'm gonna stake their claims. Thanks, Anna. Carrie, you could. You could. I kind of like this creamy white. It's kind of vintagey going with her outfit. So I'm I'm happy with it. These are that the new pumpkins that just came in. I like them because they're funky pumpkins very funky like ribbon I want to continue on with it so I'm going to get a couple more of those out play with those um did I spray the paint the wreath I didn't Joan I just left it black Carrie where to get in bulk I don't buy them in bulk Carrie I've been getting my grapevine wreaths from Deco Exchange um you can try Michael's Hobby Lobby, anything like that. I don't I don't order them in wholesale right now. I just don't want to store them. Your savings is only a couple of bucks a wreath, and I don't want to have to store them, so I just get them when I need them. It's kind of like my boxes. I don't really want to bulk up on boxes because I don't want to sit, I don't want to have the warehouse space filled up with boxes. Uh oh, thanks, Alita. Thank you. We're having fun. So much fun. Like always. So I'm thinking I'll put one more here. I've got a zigzag working. So I can kind of have it come over the pumpkins, maybe right there. I'll tuck this one back a little. This is kind of unexpected. That wasn't my plan, but that kind of turned out cute. Feels good to get creative in here with y'all just hanging out. Just tuck it under. All right. Yes! I'm a fan of that. That looks so good. And then how about like it's coming back up? 
Uh oh, the yard guys are here. I always have bad timing sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's get up and under. length on this one so I'm going to extend it out hi Damon good to see you Damon I'm going to town over here I'm creating with all my friends okay I'm filling this up I'm gonna make it a little longer okay let me get the cutters ah! trim it So what do y'all think about the gnome situation? Are, are, are y'all still loving gnomes? Or were you ever a, lo a gnome lover? You know how they've been really popular? Just curious. Are you still seeing them out when you're shopping? I'm going to bend her knees just a little bit. I don't think we're going to cross her legs. but Okay, I like the way that's looking. What do y'all think? Damon, I was just telling them that we're going to we're going to be in Florida next week for our mastermind. So they know that we're going. I didn't tell them we're going to Disney. Y'all. We're gonna get a little Disney time. Woohoo! Excited about that. I'll be bringing all my ears. Oh, you've loved the gnomes? You guys are gnome people. Look at this. Hi Alina! Okay, this is a nice twiggy garland. I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna use some of it because it's my favorite thing lately. This is pretty. Thanks guys, you're jealous. Well, we're gonna give it a try. Uh, thanks Carrie. Okay. Oh, you don't get to go there till November, Judy. It's coming. It'll be much cooler in November. We're going to do the sweaty, sweaty Disney. Trudy, there's going to be a disturbance. Trudy, we're just... Na, 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 na. Na, 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 Trudy. Mama's heart can't take it. There's skulls in here. I'm going to leave the skulls for now. I might cut the skulls out. We'll see. gonna kind of work from behind the spider I'm just so into this I need to get some big bling bling for this all right quit grabbing me all right come around oh yes oh yes this is so cool because these spiders are glittered mm -hmm. oh it can sit right on her shoulder she doesn't mind. She's a spider person. Joan, the garland, it, it is over on our comment sold site right now. It was in our live sale. So, like, you can text me at the number up above. Just hit the screen, send me a text, say I need the link to the garland. We'll send you the exact link to the garland. We'll get you what you need. But it's on Kalise.commentsold.com. right by the door. It's loud. Alright, let's get this party going. I'm going to kind of have this coming out from behind the spider. Maybe down. No, I think we still need to build up around the spider himself. Let me trim it a little bit. Hey Peggy, how's it going? Carrie, you liking it? I think we're gonna 
Can we get the spider a little more attention now? That's a bling bling spider. skulls off. We'll see how we, how it's going when we get to that point. The skulls might go bye bye. There comes another piece off the garland. So I'm just cutting it up into the sizes I wanted, which is working pretty pretty darn good. Hey Melissa and Renee and Suzanne. You guys, if anybody's watching for the first time and you're quiet, just say hello. We don't buy, we'd love to know where you're watching from. Oh, Peggy, just keep recovering, keep doing all your rehab. That's the most important thing. I know you're in pain, but you'll get there. Uh oh, I'm gonna have a sneeze. Excuse me. Oh, I jinxed it. Now the grass is in the allergy situation. <laughs> I think I don't like this piece up here. I'm going to take this piece out. I think we're going to just use it kind of coming down just a little bit more. And if I can find a pretty... Um, ribbon that we have that can kind of coordinate with her. I could use that as well in there. Okay. There we go. I like that a little better. These skulls do match the champagne picks we put in there. They kind of do go with it. Okay, so I've got two in. It would be so cool to have one kind of coming down by her legs. So we're gonna redo that one, put it in. Hey, Tanya! Tanya, I tagged you in Design School um, for somebody was looking for a gift for somebody in the hospital. And I didn't know maybe if one of your gnomes would work for her. So I uh, tagged you, just a heads up. Eight pins, plate removed from your elbow. Oh! You'll get there, Margaret. You'll get there. Keep working hard at it. I know, those are big surgeries, guys. Okay, I'm gonna twisty wisty. And I'm gonna work kind of flowing down a little from there. I think I'm loving that. I'm always liking flowing and curling and twisting and all that fun stuff makes my little heart happy. So happy. Oh, you know what? I forgot to text you guys that we were live. Dang it. Fail. Operator error. These are cute. I'm going to put one more maybe coming right here. I've got enough to do one more. I could do, actually do a couple more. Yes, Margaret, exactly. You'll get there. Watch all you can. You know, just keep watching all, all you can. At least that's you can live vicariously through whoever's creating, right? All right, I'm gonna just spread out these cute little skellies. How about we do one that kind of comes down in the back? Yeah, if I 
her some lace, some like cool skull lace ribbon. That would be awesome. Pop that in there. Ooh, yes. I'm just getting it tucked in here. It's got a the part I had to cook, cut it was too thick to be able to put in the wreath. So if that happens, you guys can just tie it in. And that will totally work. Okay, let's see. Clean it up a little bit more. I can throw these. over there. Flip this one around. Yes! I'm loving it. So far, so good. Yes, Margaret, exactly. Exactly. It's nice to have an outlet, right? Hey, Dorita. Uh, Pamela, the spider is the only thing we don't sell. It was at our local um, store here in Houston. But I got everything else is from Cleese.com, including this awesome garland. Brenda says, I love your design. You did such a great job. Thank you, Brenda. You know, I'm having fun when I'm doing this. It's like my thing. It's like my thing. I love it. Oh, Peggy, walking? Okay, so you just... <laughs> Poor Peggy, got to keep walking. Jeez. Isn't that the way it is? The thing that's probably the most painful. You'll, you'll get past it. All right. I was thinking kind of coming over the center section and down. It's going to be kind of tight in there. Make this a little smaller. Let me get it a little bit littler. A little bit littler. one right in here. Yeah. I like the idea she's like in a haunted wood, you know, doing her cool witchy stuff with all her witchy bling bling. Having a good time. I'm going to put another one this way. Gosh, she's turning out way better than expected. <sighs> yeah, Peggy, sure. You know, you would just use her like you would a snowman or a Santa or anything like that. Oh, Amanda just painted some grapevines and twigs. Yay, Amanda. How fun. Copyrighted. I'm sorry. Thanks, Carrie. I think she's turning out really good. I'm thinking about putting a couple of pumpkins, though. Let's see if I want to put a little bit more. I put those a little bit beside her. So I was going to see if I wanted to tuck in any. Or if I needed them. She's pretty. And if I get some of those little rhinestone pins, yeah, they always come when you're live, don't they? Usually they come on Thursdays. I don't know why they're late today. <laughs> yes, it's a country song. Totally a country song. Oh, gosh. All 
I think I like it. I think we're good. I don't think we need them. I think just a little bit of the white pumpkins down there is perfect. I think she's done. Yeah, you can't have peace. Exactly. So let me give you a close up of her. She thinks she turned out pretty stinking cute. Y'all know it? What you think? Give me some thumbs ups or hearts or, or something if you like her just the way she is. And who doesn't love those little boots? Those are a winner, you know? Welcome everybody. This is Kalees and we're so glad to have you. I'm Kalee and we're gonna show you really quickly how to pop together the cutest witch wreath you've ever seen. So we're starting off with a really, really fun base that we're gonna work on. And we're gonna need a bow for this one, so we're gonna tie the bow first. I'm gonna put my little witch legs over to the side. Oh, this is stinking cute. Don't you love those? I love all the fun part of Halloween and how we get into all the whimsical stuff. That's what, one of the things I love about fall. Well, fall's not quite as whimsical as Christmas and Halloween, but um, it's just fun to create. Okay, so we're gonna use these two ribbons. I'm gonna go with a black and an orange check here together. Let me grab uh, my cable ties. I'm gonna need a couple. I'm gonna need a long one and a short one. And if you guys get the kit, it's gonna be included in the kit. So you'll have everything you need. And we're gonna make a really cute funky bow for this one with long tails. So I'm gonna start off here with an eight inch tail. I'm measuring out eight inches. I'm gonna to come to the center and I'm gonna twist it. That tail's gonna go up. Now I'm gonna come in at two, six inches. Now let's go a little bit better, let's go to seven. Cause I want this to be kind of covering up her body, the bow. So I'm gonna go over the seven on the other side. Oh, come here ribbon. And I'm gonna scrunch it and we're gonna go down. And this tail is eight inches also. Tail up, tail down. Don't forget guys, if you want to get the kit, just drop the word kit into the comments and we will send you a link for it. Now grab your orange ribbon. Eight inch tail, we're gonna go up. I'm gonna twist. We're gonna still go out to seven. We're making it big and wide. We're adding this little pop of orange. I'll tell you why, because on our witch hat, We've got a little bit of orange right here. See how cute? We want to have that color coming out for our Halloween witch wreath. And I'm going to twist. We're going to do two loops this time. Everybody's staying out at seven. Twist. Seven. Scrunch. So we got a tail up, a tail down again. And I'm going to trim that one. Bada bing, bada boom. Now let's get the black and white, bring it out, we'll bring it back to the party. And I'm gonna go eight inches. This one's gonna go up on this side. So I've got a black and white on both sides. And now this lip's gonna be a little smaller at five. The other day we were calling this the Beetlejuice ribbon. Isn't it fun? It doesn't have the purple, but the black and white just makes it so fun. And of course, we're bringing in this ribbon to go with her cute little legs over here. That's why we're bringing that one in. And I'm going to trim this one. Eight inches too. We made that one a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to grab my orange ribbon again. And I need two tails in a... Well, we're going to have to add our long tails now, okay? Because I want some tails coming down by those uh, legs. So I made these about 24 inches long. We're going to put that in the middle. And I'm trimming. And actually, I trimmed that the wrong way. I like these angles to be opposite. So I'm going to have this one go this way. Okay. And now I'm just going to scrunch that down. That's one set of tails. Oh, you know what, guys? Because I'm not going to have the black and white tails because we've already got her legs. We're just going to use the orange. I forgot about that. Now, we're going to use this. We're not going to take this off. We're going to go with one little loop in the center. But we've got to do our tail up, tail down again tail up. One little loop and I'm going to make it just a little shorter than my last one. So really we're making just this really adorable bow for the center. 
y'all. And the Easy Bow Maker will not be in your kit, but you can pick this up at decoexchange.com or you can also grab it on uh, Michael's Arts and Crafts stores. They have the bow maker and basically it just holds everything for you. So I've got two long tails that are coming down, okay? And then I've got my beautiful bow. The recipe for this bow, for those of you who follow us and know how we call the recipes, this is a one, two, one, one. We're starting at seven, this is at five, and this is at four. Okay, ribbon done. Now, eight inch cable tie, we're gonna run that right up the side here. And I'm gonna bring it to the top. slide that around the back and we're fluffing everything look how cute it is coming to life guys once I'm completely happy with it and how it's all laid out I'm gonna go to the back and put in my cable tie and just cinch it tight and trim it off basically the only supplies you'll need to make this are some wire cutters guys and some scissors all this ribbon is wired, so this puppy is going to be shining when we put her together. She's going to be so cute and really so simple. The last thing I do is I want to come in the center, and I'm going to use a little piece of the black and white because I want to cover up my cable tie. So I'm just going to slide this right down. I cut about a 12-inch slip piece of a ribbon, and then I just fold it on itself to get it nice and tight. And we really got that Beetlejuice look. It's gonna look great with her legs. See how that trims out the center really pretty? That's just a little touch we wanna do. All right, two little hand over hand knots just to get this nice and clean. Bada bing, bada boom, yay, yay, yay. All right, grab your wreath base. Here it comes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, let me make a little room here. So, we're going to be using the bow in just a minute, but we need to get the body all positioned and get the legs in there how we want. First, grab the legs. And let's get them placed in. Okay. Let me spread them just how I want them. I like her heels. You can have them facing in like this, like she's bow-legged, or you can have her go out, whatever you're feeling. I think she's kind of a whimsical witch, so I'm gonna have her go inside. You can see here, I'm just placing some of the pine through the black pine, which is so fun and wispy. And that's gonna help, kind of help them hold them in place also. We're gonna be wiring and tying it all in, but it's gonna kind of get it positioned. Okay, it's got a little grabber here, a little bitty ring of ribbon. I'm going to grab a cable tie, and I'm going to attach that to make sure that it cannot fall out. Just going around one of the wire bases. It's got a wire right here. And I'm just going to cinch that tight. Did I miss it? I missed it. You have to grab the ribbon loop. All right, does it work? <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Come through there. There we go, I got it. This is not like our whole plan, but that's like a part of our backup plan. We're gonna be pinning this all together from the back to make it nice and sturdy, but that's the start. Now the second thing I do for a little more support is I take one of the pieces of pine and then just come right up the hoo-ha here and hold it tight. Okay, oh my gosh, I love her being bold like it too. Don't you love all these little, look at the little dots on the boots. Okay, hat time, hat time. Our hat is great, it's flat, it's perfect for a wreath. So we're going to come right in the center here. And I'm going to use, I've got to think about my placement before I put it down. Of course I want to cover up this. Depends how long or short you want her legs to be. So you play with it. I want her to be kind of big. So I'm going to put this up here. Now her bow, if it goes right here, how are her tails going to work? Let's take a look at that. That's cute for these to kind of pop up above. I think we're okay with that. I like I like that position right there. So I'm going to take the bow out. We're going to pin this all in with the floral pins. Now, I also want this little orange doodad to kind of come out down below the bow. 
the curly pick because I thought that would bring that orange color is also on her hat and that would kind of bring this down here like this is her little broom she's riding so let's see if that would show if I have it there I'm gonna try to see yeah I think it would be fine that would work great so the way I can attach this here is just use a cable tie again and we'll just go on that wired piece that we had the um, that we put around through the hoo-ha now I'm gonna tighten that up nice and tight and so just in case anybody tries to pull on it we'll just bend this down so that wire is completely holding it in okay and then I want to make sure this wire can't come loose which it probably can't now but I'm just gonna wrap another little piece of the wire pine base behind it okay easy done that's all secured we're happy with it and a little bit of this laying over will keep this from flopping when it's on your door okay we're gonna put this right here and I'm ready to start pinning these in I'm gonna take these floral pins they're gonna come in your kit and we're gonna use those to push right into this base I'm gonna pop them in a little bit of the glue I've got a glue pot going but you can use a glue gun just be really really careful because it's so hot and I'm just pinning this around a wire so I'm taking one of these to attach it to and we're gonna do that two or three times in the back to get this attached all right go on that wire awesome and then how about one more up here to this wire we'll get that straight in just a second so it's not wiggling around no wiggling buddy I'm coming up higher right here don't go too hard you'll push through the hatch be really careful okay awesome now we're gonna do a few through the felt part of the leg so let me flip this around and we'll do it from the back now so you can see so this is the felt part of the leg and what we want to do is push right through that into the hatch so we kind of make this all one piece it's a little tricky to get through it so I'll just do one side at a time okay so that side's through and I'm gonna wiggle this side get in there buddy how come one side goes so easy the other side's so difficult if it acts crazy like that you can give it an all just something that's pokey and we can poke them through a little bear hole oh yeah don't mess with me I would get the big pokey on you all right there's our pin I'll just do a dry run so I've poked it through now I'm gonna hit it with some glue but don't try to go through with the glue on the front it's just too too thick so I got glue from my glue pot on my bamboo stick oh don't hit your hand now I got a little glue on the wires I'm gonna just push it in and we're gonna go at a little bit of an angle just so we don't push through the hat I forgot to tell you that earlier and I don't want you to have a disaster same thing on this other side the all is making it easier just something pokey where you can poke it through so and that kind of makes this hat and legs all one section all right pin coming through now let me get some glue on it Boom, boom, boom. All right. Pin it in at an angle. Awesome. Okay. Now, the only thing I want to do is maybe one more pin up here with a little bit more of this pine just to hold that hat where it's not going to move. It feels pretty good. Um, and remember, pin at an angle. So you don't go through the um, hat. Awesome. So it's all pinned in. You can turn it back around. I love her little legs. Okay. So she's got her feet. She's got her broom in. She's got her hat on. Okay. It's wiggling a little more than I like it. I don't like it to wiggle because I want it to feel really stable. So that's okay. We're going to come in with another pin over here. I'm going to dip it in the glue. Can you just see how many you need in yours. It might just, you might get it all tight on the first go there oh that's better she's happy now let's get our bow grab our bow y'all this is so adorable adorable and simple and look you don't have to overdo it oh my gosh how cute cable tie we're going to attach this to her little broom okay going on her broom right here that's so cute we're gonna get it nice and tight 
trim, I'm just trimming off the excess cable tie. Right there, it's done. And let me fluff her. You guys, you need to grab this kit. Drop the word kit in the comments, we'll send you the link. And you can be whipping out your own little witchy witch wreath really quick. I'm just curling these longer tails, but I definitely want those to flow out by her feet. We did it guys, we did it. Witchy witch is ready to hang on your door. Man, you might think garlands are just for Christmas, but guess what, they're not. Our colored garlands will let you use them for any season. You're gonna see how easy they are to create a base for your very own swag. We're gonna make so, so fast and easy, and I hope you enjoy it. So come on in, let's get started. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share wherever you're watching because it really helps us grow and we can make more videos like this for you. And this is gonna be a little cute little witch swag and I'm gonna show you how to make this really fast and easy. It's one of the things I love to do, just break it down simple, but make it so cute and unique. We started off with the cute little witch's boots, which you just love these guys because they're like kicking up their heels. Isn't that precious? And we've got a matching hat. Of course, she needs a hat and all kind of fun balls. You're also going to need a spray, of course, that has a lot of motion and activity. And I like this one. It's got all the great colors of Halloween. We'll be using the black garland like I talked about. Y'all know all these supplies are available on Cleese.com. And if you need the kit, just let us know in the comments. And we will uh, get you the link to the kit, too, so you see everything that's involved in this. Um, then you're going to pick one ribbon. I picked the orange Happy Halloween. I just think it's precious. It's got a lot of cute little glitter and webs, and I like that check on the side. Isn't that fun? It's really cute. That's going to be our ribbon. Let's get our base started off, and then we'll tie our bow in just a minute. This is about a two-foot section of the garland, and all I did was take and cut it. So you can see right here I cut it with some wire cutters. You guys can do the same type of thing for Christmas or fall. We're going to use this as our base. And so, um, as I would say in design school, our design school opens up twice a year. So you can get on the wait list there where I teach you the principles of floral design and help you become a better designer. So you can not just follow tutorials, but you can learn and start to do your own designing. You can find out more information about that at KaliseDesignSchool.com and get on the wait list. But I always tell my students we need to shake hands. And so that's what we're doing right now. We're like shaking hands with each spray. On here, each of these pine tines, as they call them, and we want to make sure they are flat and spread out. So it creates this great little base for our swag, okay? Once I do that, the next thing I want to do is make my hanger. And the easiest way to do that is just flip this over. Take two of these pine dines that won't mess up your design too much, like these two would work great, and make a little ring, okay? Make it kind of towards the top, but not at the very top, because we don't want it to show. And you see here, I've made a little ring, and that'll be my hanger. This is not gonna weigh anything, but we need just a little built-in hanger, and we're good to go. Now let's turn that around. So that's my top where the hanger is. This be my bottom right here. You're gonna find out how easy these are to work with. This is awesome. Grab your leggies, they're going in next. The only tools you're really gonna need is you'll need some wire cutters. We might need to cut a few things or some scissors for a ribbon, of course. So I like for the boots to be kind of kicking up and uh, just be a little bit shorter than the end of the garland. I want the garland to be almost the longest thing. So I'm gonna lay that here and just leave the, the support wire on. I don't need to change that at all. Okay, I'm just setting it there. All right, next step, get our hat. Bring our hat over and I'm going to fluff all this out. So shake hands once again and spread the sections of the hat out. It's got three little sections. Just have to be careful because you don't want to pull those balls off. So kind of wiggle it. We don't want to lose any of those balls. Those are adding all that dimension. But you can see I've separated them out, spread them apart, and I'm going to run them down. They're overlapping. So there's our hat, and you can bend it like that, and there's her legs. Now she won't have a face. We'll have that bow that we talked about right here in the middle, and I've just got them overlapping. Now I'm ready to go ahead, as soon as I think I'm happy with the spacing, then I will take and do one crisscross here in the middle, okay? 
I'm gonna add our balls next, and after the balls are in, that's kind of our color and our pizzazz. After those are in, we'll trim these stems or we'll hide those stems. They're all black, so they, they're camouflaged in there. Now here's our balls, and I'm gonna add this a little bit lower than the legs, okay? Because I want that to pop out just right at the bottom of the swag right there. And I'm gonna take one and bend it up because I want one to come up here and be the party at the top, and these will be opposite. Okay, now I need to secure that one so I just crisscross. You don't even have to use cable ties on this, so easy. All right, how about come down to the bottom and let's do one more crisscross down here to support this one. Beautiful. And we're gonna have a bow, so don't worry about anything through here. Let's come to the top, and I am gonna trim these a little at the top that are, um, that one was coming off the legs. And then I'm gonna trim the other one coming off the balls. I have to leave the other. I don't wanna cut off any of these fun little wispy parts at the top, I wanna leave those. So we'll just bring that off. And I'm gonna take and crisscross these. And once again, I'm crisscrossing just to hold the wires so I don't have to use any more support pieces. This is how I, you're gonna make these like, you're gonna to go to town on these. These are great for craft shows, guys. Simple things like this, you don't have to charge as much for because they aren't going to take you long to make. And they're super cute because you're starting off with premium products that you can get from us at Kalees.com and you don't have to add as much. Okay, that part's done. Now let's add the magic of a bow. And you could put any kind of bow you want, but you know we're going to put in the Happy Halloween one. So I'm going to pull this aside for a second. Come here, buddy. Our witch's sword off to the side. I'm going to grab my scissors. You're gonna need some cable ties. Oh, we gotta wipe up just real quick. We got a glitter fest. Now grab your easy bow maker. And we're gonna just make a really simple, simple bow. Okay, you can decide your length by taking your swag. Oh, excuse me, bringing another ribbon with me. Here's my swag. I wanna decide how long I want my tails to be. Just take your ribbon right up to it. This is where the bow is gonna sit. And if I want it to be a little bit longer, I'm just gonna measure from the center of where the bow is down to the bottom of the swag. And that'll be my length. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit longer at 20 inches. Each project's gonna vary depending on what size of legs you're using. And, um, but for this project, the 20 works for perfect. So I just twist that. Oops, excuse me, ribbon. Don't come off my roll. All right. Now I'm going to go at six inches because this isn't a really big witch. I'm going to twist and twist when you get back to the center. Hold it in the middle. You guys know I do Bow Wednesdays every Wednesday on our Facebook page where you can interact live with us. So no matter where you're watching this right now, if you want to come out live, ask questions, get help on your bow making, that's the place to be, okay? All right, six inches. We're going to do three loops, okay? Three beautiful loops. Isn't that pretty? Come over here, six inches, and then I scrunch it when I get back to the front. And I'm going to cut these at the same angle on each side. Down and down. Beautiful. Now I'd like to add just one more little set of tails and loops. So I'll make this one just a little bit shorter, probably like a 16 inch tail. And I'll cut that at that same angle. I like the angles to match on each side of your bow. These were at six, I'm gonna come down to five now. Five inches, twist, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Five inches over here and twist. We're just doing two loops, this is it. So this recipe for this bow, if you're a bow, if you're a real blue merino and you know what we're talking about, this is a three, two recipe, three, two, starting at six and then at five. Scrunch that last loop and bring those down. Okay, our bow is done. We're going to pull it off the bow maker. So I'll just put a cable tie right underneath. Put a finger on top and gently pull that up. Get some pressure, but don't have it too tight. I'm gonna rotate that to the back and we're just going to fluff this right up. Spread these out. How cute is this? I love Simple Saturday projects, guys. I think they just give you quick wins. 
So you cannot feel intimidated, especially if you're new, or if you feel like you need to fill up your Etsy shop. You guys know I teach Etsy over at Makers University. These projects are fun and easy, and you can get that shop filled up right away with stuff that's different. Not like your everyday wreaths. It's a little bit different and more fun. Okay, there's our bow. And if you want to add a piece to the center, you can. I'm just going to camouflage mine with a little bit of the tinsel when we put it in the swag. So let's grab it back. Oh my gosh, oh, this is so super cute. This little guy is sweet as can be. She's turned out even better than I expected. I'm going to pop her right in the middle. And we're going to use that cable tie. Oh my gosh, she's so precious. She is really so precious. I'm going to get this tight. And I'm going through the... The um, hole in the cable tie. I'm trying to get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. No wobbling, baby. You got to get in there. Okay, got it. Trimming that off. Now I want to grab. Remember, I talked about grab a little of that tinsel and just come right through the center of the bow. And you can just camouflage your cable tie. Perfect. Now I would do a little work on my tails before I would call it done. I'll take my longer tail. And we'll run it right down the back. I think that looks pretty in the dimension. That's something I teach in design school a lot is we've got to have dimension. We've got to break the plane of the other elements in our piece. It's real important to do that. I'll take this and give it a curl. Look at there. <laughs> this is pretty. I mean, I know the witch would be, she'd be cackling. Isn't she precious? She's so precious. And we made the cutest little sweater. I mean, she's about... 24 inches long and she's just full of goodness guys this is a great project i can't wait for you to try your own don't forget there's lots of uses for greenery and garlands and even though this is a christmas garland that's in a black color motif you can also do something like this with elves i'm sure we'll do something later in the season with fun fun little pieces like this today we are going to be creating a great little swag and i think you're going to love it so come on in, welcome. I'm gonna get my little camera out of the picture. Um, Y'all, what we are working with today is so fun. It is actually a paint stick. So we did um, this cute little project. Rhonda Nickerson and I came up with the idea that we would take and use this as a base. So um, we just picked this particular paint stick up at Home Depot and they have a whole different selection of different sizes, also with yard sticks, but this is actual paint stick for stirring the five gallon buckets of paint. And we just painted, base coated it. And you could base coat it whatever color you're gonna make your swag. Now, this one's green. You could also paint it black, but we are gonna be using this black garland to cover it all up. And we're gonna get this sweet little witch hanging on this swag. So the only thing I've done so far, I kind of started a couple little pieces of the process here for you. So it'll go a little faster is, um, I have hot glued and used Gorilla Glue two pieces of foam on here. We're going to use those to help secure this whole piece together. This is the liquid Gorilla Glue. You can also pick that up at Home Depot. I put both of those on there. And what I'm going to do is take and take some of our black garland you can get at Khalees.com. And if you need the supply list for anything we're doing, just let us know on the video here, wherever you're watching this. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow us so you can get more updates about what videos we're doing and when. So you can see this is a little bit longer than the paint stick. So I have it a little bit longer. And this was already on the garland, this loop. It's a wire loop for a hanger. So I'm gonna use that up here at the top. Okay, so this is one side of the garland. Now I'm gonna come and grab another piece. I've already cut these to length. And you'll notice I've kind of folded them to where they're all on one side, okay? So I've taken folded them where they all point each direction. Now I'm gonna zigzag them together a little bit and we're kind of creating our own little swag base. Okay, and I really haven't attached this to the paint stick yet at all. All I'm doing is taking these two pieces and crisscrossing them so they're kind of sandwiching together and we're getting a nice little shape here. Okay, so just crisscrossing, crisscrossing. Now, I know I want this to be my hanger, so I'm going to bring my little loop to the top up here, okay? Can you see that? That's the wire loop. So take these other pieces and just put them behind. Now, you're going to need a staple gun, so grab a staple gun. 
And you want staples that are smaller where they're not going to shoot through the back of your paint stick. Grab some of the pine and we're just going to fire some staples in there. It's pretty forgiving. And if you go through the actual little pieces of pine, it won't, um, it's not as hard to get over as that main lead wire. So there's our hanger. And you can also add a hanger just to the back of the stick if you want to also. So I'm going to take and just fire a couple staples in here, a few of these. Okay. So I've got those staples. And the next way I'm going to make sure I've got this double secured is I'll grab a couple floral pins. Here's our ribbon we're going to use just a little bit. I'm going to put that over there. And I'm going to take a couple floral pins and I'm going to make sure to pin into my floral foam that I've cut and put in here. Now the floral foam, you can just get it at your local craft store. Um, you want the kind that's not used with water. And just go around that wire base and fire a couple of pins into the foam. This is not going to hold a bunch of weight, the actual pine. It's just on here to cover and create our own little um, base. Okay? So got that done. That's super easy. You can do that. Now, um, I like to cover this with its own little section of pine also. So just cut a little smaller section and just lay it right on top. So it kind of camouflages that foam. Go ahead and shake hands. You know in design school I would say shake hands. So we're going to shake hands with each piece of the pine, spread them out. You're going to give this a dip in my glue pot. I've got it over here to the side. Just give it a little dip and I'll press those down into the wire. There's one probably two or three and this is working great because it's going to camouflage the whole base all right and then we're going to start to create miss little witchy we're going to create her so stinking cute all right the first thing we want to do is we get her legs in place so i'm going to make a little room here and i know i want her legs at the bottom so we're just going to start to lay out the design Okay, so I'm going to take these and kind of kick them over to the side with her little feeder like that. Now, I'm not really doing anything yet. I'm just setting everything in place. Okay? Next step is I want to put a little pumpkin underneath her. And I thought it was so super cute to kind of put a leg on top of the pumpkin and kick this out to the side. Okay, so my hanger, my top of my witchy is going to be up here with her hat. And this is the bottom with her leg and her pumpkin. So let's get that set in first. We don't need this little hanger on here. I'm going to cut that off. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to kick her legs out to the side. She's got big wires running through there. So you can literally do whatever you want. Now we're going to use our floral pins like normal. And I'll just be pinning right through this. This is kind of like a heavy duty felt. And I'm going to press it through first. So it goes through the felt and I think it goes right through her leg. I'm going to try. If that's too hard, just go through the felt. Nice. Okay, so I've got the pin through. It went through. It's not going into anything yet. Now I'm going to bring the glue to it. I'll just put a little on my bamboo stick, and I'm going to just tuck that right into my foam. Floral foam is your friend. It makes it go so fast and so easy. Just tuck it in here, that crunch, you know you're in. I like to use a couple of pieces on here just for security reasons. So I can get another piece up through the top here. And I'll just push that through and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring the glue to it. I'll just tuck that one in. Yay. Okay. It's going to go in nice and sturdy. I love that in there. Okay. So we have two pins holding these legs on good. Now I, I know I need to get a pumpkin down here. So I'm going to find out where the foam is. We've kind of got a camouflage. So just feel for it. I really want this leg kind of kicking over this pumpkin. Like she's like, yeehaw, got this cute little pumpkin to be sitting on. Kind of side saddling it over here. So I'm going to get a piece. This is a, um, this is actually just a floral stem. And if you use an awl, it helps poke holes really great into the foam base of pumpkins. So the pumpkins we sell are actually foam. They're not plastic. Oh, don't dip that in the glue pot. You just want to make your hole first. Make a hole. Then here, this is a wire from a floral stem. You can also use a bamboo stick. But the nice thing about having a wire is we could, we could change the angle if we need to. 
All right, let me cut that down a little bit. Holy smokes, the big, the big uh, axe murder knife just fell down. Somehow I lost my little knife between here and Dallas at Wreath Makers Live, so I've got a big old knife now. Okay, I like to kick this leg up like she's just having a party on top of that pumpkin. Now, once you get it the way you want it, all you got to do is just take and pin it. So find the wire in here. There's a sturdy wire here. Go right around the wire with your pins. So you're not just going through the fabric. I'm grabbing the wire. We're going to use the same technique. Because we're using foam, it'll just push right in and you can secure the leg where you want it to be. So I'm just going to push that in. Put that right on top of the glue. And her little leg is in there. Ha! <laughs> She's so cute. So her leg's in. She's kicking up having a party. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get her... Um, the bow is going to go right in the center of her body, so it's going to cover up all these mechanics here. But let's get her hat in. So I'm going to get her hat right in here. And I kind of like her hat going catty corner to her body. So it's poking up really nice here at the top. Um, but let's get some hair in. Because I have these two curly picks that give her the cutest hair that matches her pants. So I call it Medusa hair because it's just coming out like a bunch of curly snakes. So um, we'll just set we'll just set one on each side. Let's have this one kind of come out this way. How fun is that? We can curl it or we could um, keep it, you know, tighter, looser. Okay, I'm just setting it out first to get the shape, y'all. Get that shape going. Curling these in. I just I'm loving the curlies. Always loving the curly. So if I put this one, I think I like them kind of coming down a little. So I'm going to trim these where they're short enough to um, not be too pokey, but get into my foam down there. Because the foam is not all the way at the top. So I'll just give that a nice little bend. Like she's got some curly locks. I'm going to go into my glue pot and just tuck this in. She's going to have the cutest hair here. I love the curly hair. Isn't that cute? All right, let's do it again on the other side now. Let me give her a twirl and a swirl in here. Put that one in. Oh, how cute. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> how cute is that? And it's all wired, guys, so you can manipulate it however you want. All right, time for the hat. I'll just make that flat, and the hat is going to go in here. Remember, we have a bow coming in, but I love for her hat just to kind of fire out of there. Isn't that cute? Okay. She is coming along swimmingly. I love her. Um, for the hat, we're going to need another either bamboo stick or a wired floral stem. I think I'm going with the bamboo stick here. And uh, you just need a little section for the bow, so I'd leave a little bit open. I'm going to take this and just poke it into my hat. And I'm going to go just right here in the back. Okay, so I'm kind of at an angle, and I'm just pressing it in. Once again, all foam, really easy to attach. Just cut this long enough to where you can uh, still get it into your foam. You can dry run it however you want. Oh, it's cute, y'all. Super cute. And I just need to hide this stick into the, behind the bow here. There we go. Aha! Look at her little hat. Isn't it super cute? Look at her little legs and hat. <laughs> nice. And you could make this super fluffy or do whatever you want. Now, she's going to have her hair needs to come down just a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down. Check out her head. Isn't she cute? I love her. Bring these curls down. This is her fun, whimsical hair. So she's totally taking shape. Let's go ahead and make her bow. And we'll put her broom and her bow in last. But let's make the bow together. Grab your easy bow maker. And I'm just using two bows, I'm just, uh, ribbons. I'm using a polka dot. Because, of course, we've got that cute polka dot on her feet. And then I'm also going to use a little orange to pop out the Halloween colors. So 
This is our Easy Bow Maker. And I'm going to make the tail long enough to come out behind her legs. So I'm going to make it about 20 inches. Bring it to the center and I'm going to twist it. There we go. Out at uh, that six and a half will do us on this one. Six and a half and twist. Six and a half inches out here on the measurement and twist. We're going to do two loops of the polka dot at six and a half. And twist and just fluff these guys right out. Isn't that wonderful? Scrunch it. I love polka dot. You can never go wrong with polka dot. Okay, and there's our nice long tails. And that's going to be important to our design. We want the ribbon popping out behind our uh, little witch. All right, now we're going to bring in the orange ribbon. And I'll cut this at the same angle to match on this side of my bow. Come to the center and twist. And let's go at six inches, just a half an inch shorter. Six inches. Oops, my ribbon is getting a little tangly on me. I'm going to twist each of those. And we're going to do three loops this time. Okay, so our recipe so far, if you enjoy our Bow Wednesday videos and you watch us on Wednesdays, we do a bow making. Our recipe is a two, three, and then I think we're going to come back with a one. Two, three, one. So we have a nice pop of the orange here. We'll take and cut that one. And now let's pop, bring back in the black back to the front and that will kind of tie it all together. I'll cut all the angle cuts on the same on each side of the bow. And let's do one here and I'm down to five inches. Okay, really cute. Just one at five inches. Scrunch it when you're done so you don't have to do another twist if you're done with loops. There is that bow, and we're gonna use cable ties to tie it nice and tight. Let me grab a couple. I like those because they just keep it tighter than you could with a wire. I'll run one of the cable ties right beside this. Gently pull it up, add some tension. Okay. And I'm gonna take and rotate that to the back and just fluff this all up and spread it all out. Look how beautiful. And you're gonna get the shape you want. Remember, you need that body big enough to fill in the area on the garland of where her face would be kind of under the hat. This is all the foo-foo. Okay, I'm gonna flip this around, add a cable tie underneath. That's how we're gonna attach it to our paint stick base and all our garland, and I'm going to pull this nice and tight. Just take and trim that off. The only, the last step I need to do is come in and add a little bit of ribbon down the center, or I could just leave that black. You really wouldn't notice it, but I don't generally like to add a little detail down the middle of my bow for a touch of fun. I'm going to take and just fold those in on itself and run that right down the center. Look how cute! Just tie a little knot in the back and this guy's going to be ready to go. Now let's add her to her swag. I just got to cut the little tails. You can't have those all crazy. So here she is. So this bow recipe is a two, three, one, meaning two loops, three loops, one loop. And we're going to use this back on our swag. So let me bring her back over. This is really what starts to tie her all together. Look how cute she is. Isn't she precious? Her bow goes right in the middle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me tie her in there and then we will get her little um, tails all situated. And this bow we want it tucked in between the hat and the body. It just, this is so cute because it's almost like her little dress that's flowing down is the bow. Okay. And I take the long tails that were in the back of the bow and we run those right down the back of the sweat. Look how cute it is. <laughs> She's so cute. 
and this down the back also. Okay, so those are kind of popping out the bottom. Look at her. Isn't she precious? I'm going to move my cleese.com over just a little bit. Ooh, that was some hot glue. All right, so the last, very last step is I like to pop her little broom in there as if she's kind of riding it. and has a little bow on it. So the easiest way to do that is just kind of take it, run it popping out of her legs also right next to the pumpkin. And we're going to pin that right onto her pumpkin also. Make sure you're using glue on the pins as you pin it into the foam. And just get up here and grab the wire. There's a wire on this bow. And just press it right in. And then the bow can cover up all the mechanics. And this kind of flies out. Like, she, this is so stinking cute. Really pretty easy, guys. You need your legs. You need a broom. Look at her little boots. Is she not so cute? She's flying high, y'all. She's flying high. I can't wait for you to make your own little witch's swag. Don't forget that you can do this right on a paint stick. Can you believe that? A simple paint stick or a yard stick cut to a smaller proportional work. And this girl's ready to fly. <laughs> Make sure you follow us here. We would love to send you text messages and let you know when we are live or we have new videos for you to watch. With all the decorating seasons coming up, I don't want you to miss out on any of the fun. So text us at textkali.com and I will see you next time, Blue Merinos. Make sure to have fun with flowers. Tonight, I thought we would make a Halloween wreath together. And uh, we're going to kind of take a twist on an oldie but goodie, okay, that I think you'll like. I'm going to hold your comments, though, and say hi, everybody. Hopefully the stream is streaming everywhere. And we can get going together. Yay! Good. Good, good, good. I've got, yeah, that's a wreath that we, uh, a swag we did in design school. You're seeing the bottom of it, but, man, it was wild. And we've been filming our latest workshop, so stay tuned. That'll be coming out soon. I know you'll enjoy that. Um had a lot of fun so I think it's a good it's a party when we're together it's totally a party hey wherever you're watching can you like subscribe and follow um, there is big changes in our text messaging service so all of the texts I used to be able to send are gonna cost a whole bunch more now so we'll still have it you can still get on the list at textkali.com um, you can also text us the word live at 832-734-5201 but we won't be using it all the time. Um, I will use it sparingly. So uh, just make sure you're interactive on there. And if you can get alerts from wherever you're watching, that helps too. Hey, Bunny, good to see you from Charlotte. Awesome. Hey, Ramona, hey, Mary, and Tina's here. Hi, everybody. Good. Um, so we're still going to use it. We're still have it. But used to, I would text a lot of things. I'm going to have to cut back on that just because our budget cannot afford to text you as much as we were and if we are able to find a, a different um, solution I'll tell you about that too but for right now if you could follow us on whatever platform you're watching that is so helpful on YouTube if you uh, hit the bell icon that will give you alerts whenever we're going live too and you can also do that on Facebook you can say you want to see us first on your notifications yay hi Elizabeth hey Teresa um, any anytime you can also share our content it really helps us and even if that means just download it to your phone, if you have no one else to share it to, um, that all helps in the algorithm. So not just for me as a creator, but any creator you like. Um, make sure you're liking and you're sharing and you're spreading the love around for them. It helps them so much. So I appreciate it for me, but do that for anybody you want to see more of and interact with their videos, meaning click on their videos, watch them, comment, give them some love, all the things. Hello, Ivy. Good to see you. Okay. Tonight we're working with the 14 inch wreath base. This is the small one. Uh, Dee Dee, uh, yeah, I just talked about the text list, so there won't be as many texts. I will do some, but there won't be as many. It's just pricey, pricey, pricey. Um, but we're working on getting, getting it better. <laughs> so things are gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna put a hanger on this while we get started. So how it's gonna work is when we get uh, done with the video, we will put the uh, supply list link here in the comments because um, I'm not always going to be able to text it to you, okay? Like I did before. Thanks, Pam. Hey, Shirley. So just know if you're more interactive, the more you'll see. I will still use the text list, um, just not for every live, 
okay? Not for everyone. Maybe sometimes, but not for every live and every supply list. Um, I will, for design school, we will be doing that as soon as I'm able to renegotiate my contract with them. Uh, we should have access again. Oh, wow, you guys are so close. Uh, I love when you guys see a friend or somebody in the same city and y'all talk to each other. It's so cool. I'm putting the hanger on. That's important to me. I love for my hanger to be on my wreath. Uh, I talk about that all the time in design school, but really our customers love there to be a hanger and they know where to put it. Okay. Now, tonight's wreath, I'm going to let you guys pick. But we are going to be making a really simple witch wreath. It's really easy. Basically, we're going to have some hair for her hair. We're going to use a curly pick. We're going to have some legs, super cute witch legs. All right. And then we're going to have a cute, cute witch hat. Okay. So this is what we're going to do to put this one together. Now, I'm going to leave the wreath brown. It's super cute. Plain it and painted black too. If you wanted to paint it black, you could. And adorable. Just spray paint. Really, really simple. Now. This is where I need your help. Last week on Bow Wednesday, we made two bows. We're gonna use one of these. Remember I said I'm excited to use one? I want you to look at them. So here's the one that has more color in the background. Here's the one that has more black. You guys, more color, more black. You tell me what you like, okay? Tell me what you like best in this design. I'll hold it up to the legs. Here's the one with the more black. We can use whichever one you guys want. Here it is with the legs. Okay, well that's cute. You guys see? And then here is the one with more color. So if you could pop that in the comments, tell me. Oh, thanks for all the likes, you guys that are liking. Ah, uh, you're awesome. The more likes, the better. Okay, I have my favorite, but I'll let you pick what you like better. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and get the legs in. I took these off another project I had done so I'm gonna just uh, repurpose these. You gotta do that. You gotta repurpose. <laughs> okay, Shirley likes the color. I like it. Teresa likes the color. Uh, Bonnie likes the black. Sarah likes the black. We're gonna like tied, tied so far. You guys on TikTok, uh, Lily's liking the more color. I'm trying to pull the pin out of here. Okay, both are nice. Okay, uh, Kathy's just right in the middle. <laughs> She's like, both, are, both will work. I can even recycle these pins. Deb likes mo more black. All right, let me grab a cable tie back here and we'll put these in the middle. I'm trying to grab a cable tie. Looks like I'm out over there. Oh, here's one. I got one. More black, you guys are tied again. Y'all definitely have your opinions, right? You gotta have them. Okay, I'm gonna attach this. Each of these legs is independent. They do have a wire in there, so I'm just gonna attach this right to the center and we'll put her in. So when we're doing Halloween uh, designs, they're a little bit different than floral designing because they don't necessarily have as much flowers, but they are just so much fun and whimsical. And uh, you can certainly make scary stuff too. I usually make cutesy, fun things and on this we just use the bow right where her head would be you don't even need a head uh, she's a headless witch <laughs> more color hi lisa more black with the legs more black yeah i i'm going to tell you that's my pick more black just because the hat is completely black also and i think the other uh bow it just I just like a little bit more of the black because we're gonna have the solid hat above it okay so I think I think we'll go with that <laughs> uh, I did Anna uh, but we're not in the group here this is on the main page but I did see that but yeah you can do that in a group pretty cool huh hey Terry peace all right, let's put in the hat now. See the hat has a little polka dot on the edge. Isn't that super cute? We're going to put that right on the top. And I need to just have room in here for the bow. So I like that this is going to cover my hanger because I don't like my hanger to show. Okay, so that's perfect. And I'm going to attach this. Um, I just like to use floral pins into it through the grapevine. It's kind of like cheating. 
A little cheater, cheater. Let me grab my blue, blue pot over here. Yeah, we'll bring it over here on the side. I need my sign. I got my sign. Sorry on TikTok, it's backwards. I, I don't know how to make it all stream perfectly. One day, y'all, one day. We'll get it straight. Okay. So we're putting the hat in. I'm going to pin her in just from the sides. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? I'm glad you're here. Thank you guys for following. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Subscribe, like, all the things. We appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to do that for all your favorite creatives. It really helps them out. And uh, it seems like every time we get things going, something changes, guys. And it's super frustrating. So we appreciate you helping us as much as you can. So tell me what you did for Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, especially my dad. I called him earlier and gave him all the love. And then my honey bunny, and you know I have to give him special attention. Today is also our 18th wedding anniversary, me and honey bunny. And it's Juneteenth, which is, um, if you guys are not familiar with the holiday of Juneteenth, it's when the slaves in Texas found out they were free and the word finally got to them. So. Uh, today we have all kind of celebrations going. It's great. It is so great. Okay, now that's pretty easy. I want to put that hair in. Now I'm repurposing this hair um, from another project. But it's basically what it is, is two curly picks. So easy, two curly picks. And on the live sale the other day, I showed you another pick too that can be uh, used. So. It just works so perfect because I'm not sure if we have any more of this cute polka dot anymore. But I'm going to fluff it up. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Can't believe it's been 18 years. I'm sure everyone feels like that on your anniversaries. It's like, wow. And all I did is here is I connected these two together, but we're going to take it apart. And I'm going to put that behind in the grapevine after I fluff these back up. These were in the, the rework pile. Ah, oh, thank you so much, y'all. Oh, I'm going to fluff this out. I just wanted to do a cute little curl. There we go. The wire wanted to go that way. It was trying. So let me cut these apart and we'll put those in on each side. So if you haven't tried curly picks for hair, do it. Super cute for scarecrows. Um, anything that you can add hair to is so fun. You give the perception that they're looking at the face behind the bow. How did I even attach these? Oh, I see here. Let me just cut the cable ties. That would make more sense. I'm fighting. Congratulations, Pam! Congratulations, Nelly! Wow! Thanks, Kathleen! You guys are awesome. You guys have all been married a long time. What's your advice for this long-lasting marriage as y'all have had? <laughs> we must know. Just get boxing gloves and fight it out sometimes. Just, just do it. <laughs> ah, that's what you need to do. Ah, very cool. Oh, knee report. Knee is doing good. Uh, it's rehabbing slowly. I was... Uh, we had gone to see Deco Exchange this weekend for a quick trip. Damon was giving us tours of the warehouse and the operations uh, for some of the folks in the mastermind, which is really cool. You know, they've grown so much. It's so neat to see how their operation works and what we can learn from that. And as we were uh, walking around so much, I realized my knee is getting better, It just, but it just cannot do everything yet. It'll keep getting there. I think it's... It's been three weeks, so we're starting week four. So it's gonna keep getting better. Uh, patient and always assume, assume positive intent. Oh my gosh, those are those are hard. That's hard, Pam. <laughs> you never want to divorce on the same day. I love it. That sounds like me. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I put some glue in there. We're gonna have this just kind of come in and I'm gonna bring her curls down from her hat. But she is attaching behind the hat. So I don't have to worry about trying to hide the glue or anything. And this can all just shoot out of here like the cutest little hair. Look how cute this is already. I love this part. You spend his money, right? He were, Melinda, that works. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. Congratulations, Janet, 52, holy smokes. Richard and I, I don't think can make it that far. We can make it possibly, but uh, doing good. I'm doing good. I've been doing my therapy yesterday. I did all my therapy and oh, I've got to do these wall sits. And then they have me doing these one-legged um, squats, but I, I don't, I do them uh, to a seated position. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so I just curled these going the other direction. We're gonna put them on the exact same side. I mean the other side, the exact same spot. No, she could have her hair like 80 style, like just, oh my gosh, y'all could have so much fun. You could just have it all come out one side, kick the hat over. <gasps> oh, next, next witch wreath, we'll do that. <laughs> I know, Faith, every time we put these in, I love these. I think this particular curl sold out, but I showed you on the live sale the other little curls that are, they're orange and black stripe like this. They're really cute. I think they're less expensive too. Um, they're just not reversible. These have a reverse side. Oh my gosh, isn't that so cute? And then I'm gonna kick this under it. Can I see? Okay. All right. I'm gonna try to make that. Like her, like her hair is wild. Okay, how easy is that so far? Super easy. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Melinda. You are awesome. Okay, now, um, I got a couple of little candy cords. I thought it might be cute to just kind of have a little decoration going, kind of coming out like little back parts of her hair. Like, like if you could have some little spiders in her hair or something like that, that would be awesome too. We're gonna just put these little candy cords in. We're getting advice for keeping a marriage together. I know it's Father's Day, but it's also our, uh, my wedding anniversary and Juneteenth. There's so many holidays and celebrations today. Um, the cool thing is y'all are giving me great advice about keeping together forever or trying. Okay. What if we just tuck this in like up here or we could have it kind of come almost like it's right. I think that looks kind of cute. Like it's part of her hair too on the inside. I'm going to glue it in. I'm just sticking it so far. far, far. Oh, Deb, thank you. You like it too? Thanks, Cindy. I'm glad you like it. Okay, let's put this one up here. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute. Y'all, so I'm going to start to educate you how to use our website. Rather than me just say it, I'm going to have some videos of where to click, where to go, since the texting is uh, kind of in limbo right now. And that was so much easier, but this way it won't be hard, which I'll show you how, how I get you trained, okay? Uh, I'm a pretty good teacher, so I think you'll get it. Oh, this is cute because it kind of gives her hair another flair. Hey, you could make her hair all out of the candy corns too. This is so fun. I'm loving this. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Hey, Natalie, you're new. Welcome. So glad you like it. This is a really easy um, design we're doing tonight that I think everybody can do with not a ton of supplies, some easy, easy supplies and make it super cute. Okay. Our bow we're using. Now, if you don't know how to do bows, we do bows on Wednesday. Um, uh, replays, you can, there's no replays here on TikTok, but you can get bows on um, YouTube and you get bows on Facebook. So you can get the replays. If you need links or help to find them, you just email us, info at police.com. We will help you uh, give you the latest bow tutorials. But this Wednesday we did these and the difference between them is we just reversed the placement. So in this one, we have the black in the back and this one we have the more stripe in the back, the color. So um, earlier in the video, we chose to use the black one. We're gonna put that to fill in the whole void in the middle. Hi, thanks, Brandy. Thanks so much. So let me fluff it out already. 
But this is a what we call a blast off bowl. It's a three two one recipe. And I show you on Wednesday I show you how to make it. Uh Natalie, you've been struggling? Well, hey, don't be a stranger. Come around and hang out with us, of course, which I'm sure you've already been doing. And I love to teach you how to um, make floral designs, wreaths, centerpieces, all of that. I teach every week in my design school. It is a class. It only opens up a couple times a year, but it's going to be coming open this fall. And you can get a sneak peek into design school in our next workshop that I was just filming the last few days. So um, stay tuned. I'll be telling you all about that. Okay, I'm putting the bow right above her legs to kind of cover up the mechanics right here. I'm going onto that cable tie that I put her legs on with. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love this. We had this in a kit similar a few years ago. We need to make the kit again. Uh, where we put it in the black wreath. Look how cute this is. Now I'm going to curl up some of these tails so she can be really super cute. I know. I know guys. So one of the things you will have to do is check the supply list on Kalees.com, y'all. So uh, K-E-L-E-A-S dot com is where we sell all the supplies. It's where we've got the links to the supply list. If you haven't been there in a while, you got to go check it out. Like everything, interact with it. When you purchase from us and you interact with us, it allows us to keep making free videos like this. Design school students are paying for their classes each week, so they are getting all the attention um, for sure. But I want to be able to do fun projects like this with you too. Look how cute she is. Y'all, if you wanted to make a cute little broom, that would be super cute, like shooting up out of her pretend hands right here, or maybe down. You guys, you can go all, all out. I know. Isn't she cute? So simple. So simple. <laughs> Do you think you can make this? Do you guys think you can make this too? What do you think? Isn't she cute? Look at her boots. <laughs> I know. Thank you guys. We did have a lovely Father's Day and anniversary and all the things. It was a great weekend. All right, y'all. The supply list is pinned in the comments right below so you can see exactly what we used. A little trick on our website in every supply list, there is a link to the video, okay? So you don't have to worry about missing a thing. Um, if you can't access a supply list, it's because it's for our design school class, okay? So don't think you've done something wrong or you clicked somewhere where incorrectly, but we have stuff that's private for them that you can see it, but you just can't get into it. But anything that's public, you can click on it and um, go in and click the link and then see the video. Kalee, I am ready to make a cute witch centerpiece with you. This one is all made on a pumpkin, and I love it because I've got this kind of a medium-sized pumpkin, but it looks totally, totally real. You can pick these up at any craft store. We will have a complete supply list for you if you want to get all the supplies. It'll be in the description of the video. All right, we're going to start to prep our base. And what we want to do here is I want to make this super cute and whimsical. So I like to use this hard floral foam and I've taken a couple of small blocks and we're just going to take and put one on the front, one on the back, and I'm going to kind of balance them. You could use one piece and cut a hole for the stem too. That would work as well. I like to double secure it with a little bit of Gorilla Glue and Gorilla Glue is right here. I just get this at my craft store, Walmart, Amazon, anything like that. I'm going to start off here by putting the two pieces of foam on. So now I'm going to put some hot glue, go into my glue pot over here and I'm just going to scrape it off. But you want it kind of thick thick and juicy so we're going to put this one back here i'm going to kind of scrapey scrapey and get a lot of glue on there and then i'm going to put one towards the front so we're kind of separating it in between the two now one of the reasons i love using the foam pumpkins is they're very forgiving they're easy 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 to work with and what we can do is take some floral pins or you can take like some toothpicks or something that's kind of spiky and I can take and put these right through to my pumpkin. These are U-pins, okay? So I'm just gonna push them through and push them in. Y'all, pins in, glue on, extra glue on. It feels pretty stable, I'm happy with that. I've got a black garland. 
I love these black garlands. Of course, you can use them like a garland, like you would in your home. But I, they, uh, I use them for filler too, and they work great because this can work as a greenery almost for Halloween because it's black and it's tinsel, it's on a nice wire. So we're gonna start off by camouflaging a lot of our mechanics here with this. So I'm gonna take and fluff it up. I will call that shaking hands. We're gonna shake hands, get everybody going the right direction. We're gonna cut this into some smaller sections. But I want this to be in smaller sections where we can start camouflaging the foam at the bottom. If you like our skeleton head in the back, we made him in a pumpkin head in design school. Totally love those projects. They're exclusive to that group. And um, they have the supply list that can pop on there and order anything they need to make that exact project or take the supply list shopping at their favorite craft store and stock up to make the exact same project. Y'all, if you'd like to join our class, just go to uh, KaliseDesignSchool.com and you will be set up. You can go to ReithsTeacher.com too. That might be easier than my name to spell. All right, I'm coming on with these pieces and we're gonna just take, and I am just gonna put them really close to the foam. So I'm just gonna bend them. And I'm going to use my floral pins over here again. And then I just take those and I'm going to pin them into the side of my foam. Or we know you can go directly into the pumpkin too if you want to. But you can see how that's already kind of camouflaging our uh, foam on there. So I'm going to work my way around. Let me get another one. We'll just bend it around. Now at Christmas time, you can use the same green pine to camouflage the same type of things for Christmas. So uh, I could do the same type of design for Christmas but on a big ball. How about a big, beautiful Christmas ball? Yeah, I got you thinking now. I got you thinking now. You're going, hey, options, baby, options. Okay, we're gonna work our way around. Oh, that one kind of needs to get, I think we'll push this one into the foam right here. I pinned it on the one side, but not that side. I just use my electric glue skillet like a glue gun. It works just fine. It doesn't get as hot as a glue gun, so I get way less burns. And I'm able to just dip things in there and swirl them around. So it's really quick and easy to work with them. All right, now this piece we're going to just have around the back, and I'll just pin that in a couple of places. And you can see we've already covered up a lot of our mechanics. We're hiding our green foam. So that way it's less to do later. Now sometimes I do this kind of mechanic cleanup last, and sometimes I do it first. In this case, we're, we're not gonna have a lot of picks like flying out of the bottom. They're gonna come more kind of out of the middle zone here. So we have this started and we can kind of clean up with that as we uh, get to creating. Now, keep in mind, we wanna keep our weight balanced. I know I'm gonna have a hat, I'm gonna have legs. So as we're designing, we gotta think about, okay, where is everybody going when we put it on there, okay? So I think we'll kind of sit it like this little catty corner. This is our hat. And our hat's gonna go right here. I'm gonna put it kind of off to the side in the middle, but I think I wanna kind of crunch up the top of the hat and get this moving, give it a little action. So I'm gonna cut the little hanger off of it. We don't need that. And we're gonna grab one of our stems. I have a longer stem and you'll have some too on the, on the project that we're doing today. You'll be able to cut the stem off. And we're just gonna slice a little hole and go right up the middle so we can kind of manipulate this hat the way we want it. So just get in here and slice it up. This is felt, but you can just poke it and cut it. Put this piece in and see if you can work it to the top. Wiggle, 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 watch it wiggle, see it jiggle. Let me try a, a skinnier. Let me find one that's a little skinnier and see if we can get up a little higher. These black curls we're about to use, they're gonna be pretty skinny. So let's try one of these. I don't know if it'll be long enough though. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, I'm gonna put some glue on it now since I got it in there a little bit better. And that'll help me have a little bit more control over angling the hat and how I want it. So I want it off to the side like this and that way I can kind of droop it over. We're just gonna cut that for a couple of inches and then I'm gonna put a little glue on it and we're gonna put that witch's hat right in. All right, and bring her way back here. Push her in, push her in, get her started. There she goes, yes, yes. So she's gonna kind of be off to the back here. And then I think I wanna take and even bend this hat back a little bit so we can have all this fun stuff in here. So in order to accomplish this, I feel like we should put some glue on there and let it start kind of setting up. And then if you had a clamp like that you could put on it, that would be perfect. So I'd have to hold it for a second. 
So hold, please. Holding. But if you had a clamp or a close pin, you just close it right on there and it would hold pretty good. We want to try to get that set up. Now, while I'm holding that, let's get our legs in. I think our legs would be super cute. We could do them a couple of ways, but I think I want our legs just kind of crisscrossing like she's chilling here, coming out to the side. They also have wires in them. Let me see if she'll hold you. Oh, yeah, she's doing good over here. Don't come undone. There she goes. Don't you do it, girl. You stay closed. See how cute it is to take the legs and like crisscross them or kick them up? I think they're so fun. I'm going to cut this little hanger off and we're going to pin these in kind of towards the top. All right. You guys, wherever you're watching from, make sure you let us know on the video because we're having so much fun. And then uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow so you can get more exciting, fun stuff. If you like this Halloween piece, you can imagine what we're going to do for Christmas and fall and all the seasons. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, let's tuck these dudes up in here. They do have wires. I'm going to try to pop the wire through that little leg. We're going we're gonna to manhandle this leg. Pardon me for popping out your hip, Miss Witch. Oh, she caught my, my cable to my phone. Okay. Oh, yep. Beautiful. Now I can play with that some in a minute. We can get it going how we want it. Oh, yes. She's kind of loose, you know. She keeps these legs uh, moving. Yes. Okay. You <laughs> pop her other hip out. Pardon me while I pop the hip out. Excuse me. Wire coming out. Oh, there it is. Okay, and I want to get this one, or if she's also just having a great time, and these legs are rocking up here. Let's put this one over here, and then I'm going to see if we can crisscross them. Well, I don't want to have to give her a knee replacement, but I'm feeling like I want them to be up and presenting themselves. There we go. But so far, her hat is chilling back. Her legs are a little bit, we had to do a little dislocation. And then uh, we're ready to put her florals in. And we're going to keep this super simple. We are going to put in um, <laughs> these cute little curls in a minute. Because these remind me of cute little curly hair. And we're going to give her some berries in there too. So let me start with the berries. And we'll start to section them out. And I want these to kind of give us that creepy feel against the black pine we have in there too. So let's go ahead and lay the foundation with the black pine for her hair. Then we'll come on top of it with the berries and the curls. If you know what I mean, it'll be a three-step approach to go in here. So let's get this one in here. I'm going to take uh, our pine piece. Now these come in six foot garlands, but we're taking and we are using them and cutting them in little sections. So I had used some of this garland in another project already. So I'm going to hold it like a pencil. We're going to swirl it around in the glue pot. And I'm ready to put this in on the right side. Okay, here it comes. I'm bring it towards me. I'm going to go to that back foam. Okay, and while I'm putting everything in, I also have to think kind of about a little bit about balance because I just want to try to balance my pumpkin out. Perfect. Now we'll put this one on the left. Super cute. Super cute. Now let's take and fluff this one out and we're going to put this one on the left. A little on the right, a little on the left. Her hair is looking fabulous. So that's going to work really good as a foundation and it'll give us a nice black backdrop to for the berries to go on top of. Okay, berry time. I dropped the berries, but I got them. Okay, no, these berries I've been working with a, a lot and I'm loving them because they're very manipulative and you can move them around and have so much fun. So out of each stem, I think we can get two cuts. So I'm going to cut these. I'm going to save these little wires. We might uh, need more. We might, might need more of the wires. Especially if I get crazy with these legs and I dislocate her hip again. Okay, first going in here. All right. And I want that to kind of poke up and move out. And this one I'm going to put right next to it. So we got some berries going on the left here. I'm going to put that one in closer to the hat. Now we tied a, vid uh, a bow on a video already for this project so we will be linking that bow video up also to in this youtube video so you can have it together so the bow video will be here and this project video so when we get to the bow part it'll be a separate one all right i'm just cutting those into two sections also 
and we're going to come on to the other side. How you doing? Hello, 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 hello. I love these stinking cute polka dot boots. I feel like I need polka dot boots. See, that's why we have to keep it balanced, because otherwise, you know, she'll start kicking up her feet and things will get wild. They will accuse her of riding her broom under the influence of berries. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Let's go on the other side. We're going to do the same placement we just did on the left. We're going to do on the right. Oh my gosh. So cute. So you can notice I'm going to leave the center open. We call that the bow zone. So in a lot of our projects, we identify where the bow is going to go and then we work on our transition points around that. So that's something I would teach in design school as well. So keep that in mind, y'all. If you're creating this for yourself, you've got to establish those zones and stay in them. All right, berries. Berry, 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 berry. She's looking so cute. She's looking really good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give her some berries in the back too because I want her to look cute all the way around. So let's take and cut this piece down a little bit even smaller. Um, you can't really do it much smaller. I got one berry blow out here. No, we were doing so good, berries. That's okay, I'll remove it. I'm gonna cut these into two smaller sections. So these are gonna be like her back of her hair. They don't need to be quite so dramatic. I'll cut these down, just using my little cutters. And we'll put these around the back. That way she'll be cute in the back too. And let's spin this around and kind of give her just a little touch on the back side. Okay, watch your boots, girl. These boots were made for flying. Okay, now we got our hat. I'm gonna put a little berries in the back here. We don't need a whole lot, just a little bit to make it cute. That's where we had our, our little bit of our uh, hanger up there. So this stem's gonna go in right here. Push that in, perfect. And then I'm gonna use some of this pine to just kind of hide my greenery up here she can have her hair back here all right and then how about a little bit on the, the right I'm gonna trim these down a little make them a little shorter we'll pull them off the stem blue merinos are you gonna do some cute stuff for yourself for Halloween are you all about just selling it let me know in the comments here are you like no girl I am here to make the dollars or are you like I gotta have cute stuff too I know I have a combination of both <laughs> So I tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to put these in individually, but then we're going to come and also do the, I'm going to take this one out and we're going to cut it a little shorter because it's a little bit longer than I think I want it. So let me pull it out. If you just take your time and gently pull it out, you won't rip a big hole of the foam. So when you do tear them, you got to clean up those edges because they won't go in neat to your piece. You got to make them neat and clean. Okay. Now let's take and, uh, fix around her little hat here. I think a little shorter will be cuter. There we go. And I'm going to put this one in and then just cover that glue with the, you know how I'm usually using moss to cover glue. If you're a normal blue merino, you, uh, well, we're, none of us are normal. Let me rephrase that. If you're a regular viewer, uh, then you know, I would use Spanish moss to cover that. If, especially if you're in design school. But in this project, we're using the, the black um, garland the same way. And then I'm popping all these cute little berries in. And then I'm just going to bring the pine over the top to hide it. So now she got the cute little hair in the back too. So hair in the front, hair in the back. Look at her. She is a diva. She's feeling good. Now, I want to do a little bit of fun stuff on the hat too up here. I'm going to use the combination of the curls and the berries but let's take and get that bow in the bow zone real fast uh remember we made this on another video so you'll be able to grab that video and put it uh watch to learn how to make it basically we call this a two one and then we did a pop of just a tail in here um i'm gonna need to put a longer i'm gonna need to make my own floral pin in the back so i'm gonna grab this this is a piece of wire i saved from another stem and watch, you can just can make your own really big U pin. So I just fold it like a V. There it is. And then run that through the back of your bow. I probably put a cable tie in the back of this bow when I made it, but sometimes I'm getting ready to take pictures of the bows and I take the cable tie out. So 
duh, I needed to leave it in there. So the reason we want that longer wire is we gotta reach way back here. So we need some room to get back to it. So just adjust, you can always make your own wire U-pins and uh, use to put your own bow in. Now, different ways to put bows in, very practical, would be just regular straight up and down where you'd have that black and white straight up and down, that would be fine. I generally like to go whimsical and I want to kind of angle the bow. And so I'm gonna do that where this is gonna go in where the black and white kind of goes up at an angle, okay? Just because you're using a floral pin, you still have to glue into the foam to keep it in place. So I'm gonna put the glue on and we're gonna push her in here very carefully. I'm gonna put her in that back foam back here. Why is there glue on this tail tonight? Tonight's not the night. Everything's not gonna be all right. Cause you dipped your ribbon in the glue. Now you gotta cut it. Fail. That's okay. We'll just recut these where they match. So I'm gonna re-dovetail them. Somehow I dipped that in the hot glue. Rookie, rookie mistake. So I've gotta cut this other side to match now. If you accidentally do that, it's not the end of the world. You just sing a song and you fix it. <laughs> Especially if you're Looney Tunes like me. All right, we're gonna be, I don't know if we're kicking these heels over. We can always just leave them loose and then we can kick them over when we get, uh, you know, wherever we wanna display it or take pictures. But I'm, I think I'm not gonna permanently glue them together and make them permanent. Okay, so she's super cute. She's She's got berries, she's got garland. She's got this touch of whimsy with the black and white. And we're gonna take some little curls to add just a little bit more fun to her. And we're gonna use those up here, um, kind of coming out from the hat and around her whole body here. So let me fix this too. You see how this one's kind of jetting out and it doesn't match this side. If you see that in your piece, just come back and just say, hey, I'm gonna trim that down, no big deal. And I'm gonna make it a little shorter and go back right where it was. Okay, and you may not notice that till you get towards the end of it. Just like I did, I didn't really notice it as I was, as I was manipulating this chip into how I wanted her. I was molding her to what I wanted. There she is, super cute. All right. I like that better. Isn't she cute? All right, let me grab my other curls off the ground. Of course, I always drop something on the ground that requires me to move to get it. Oh, I will get it. Aha! The other curl. Okay, so these curls, I'm going to use them kind of whimsical, and I would like to have a couple coming from behind the bow with just a little bit of berry, and maybe, uh, you know, we'll have some coming down. But these are going to be my last and final touch I'm putting on, so let's separate this into a couple of sections. It's pretty easy to take one long one here, trim it, and then you'll have a baby one right there, okay? And I think these would be fun to come out from behind the bow, kind of shooting up a little. So I'm gonna come in here and put a little glue. And we're gonna need to just go in uh, kind of behind the bow a little into that foam. Now don't worry that the, you just have to bend this back a little. All right, no big deal. And then what I want you to do is I want you to have these curls reach up. Anytime you've got anything that curls, you get these cute little picks from Khalees.com, you see how I can manipulate them and I can really let them be whimsical? Do that, you don't have to use them just how they come flat. Take and play with them. They're so fun to manipulate in the different directions. So let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna leave this one, um, I think all the way long because we're gonna do what, what's called create a line. So when you're designing, you've got you know direction, you've got flows, but then you're able to create a line that draws the eye through the design. So even though this is fun and whimsical, there's a lot of precision we're gonna use. We're not just gonna stuff things in. That's how I teach in design school, and I'm gonna show you guys the same way. So this is how this pick is right here, right? It's kind of mirrored. So if I were to bring it down, and it would be exactly the same way this way, right? If I were to manipulate it that way, but I'd love for it to swoop that way. Also, so if I want to do that, all I've got to do is bring these this way and now it can be just almost like an S curve line working through the middle. Okay, if I nerded out too much on curves and curls and lines, just have fun creating too. I get excited about weird stuff. I'm sorry, Blue Marinos, but this is what I love to do. Okay, we're going to come in the bottom with this one. I just swirled it in. 
come in down low and we're going to go to that back foam. I want to hear it crunch in. Once it's crunched, I know it's in, and now it's going to flow down. And what I want you to do is take and start to move them around. Y'all, I hear Honey Bunny moving the, the hose out there. Oh, Moo just walked in. Hey, Moo. Hey. hey. Do you have a quick question you need to ask, Moo? No, I can wait. Okay. That's fine. So we're making a cute witch. Do you think her legs should cross? Right now we're leaving them I out. It, I think it should be out. You like it out? If it crossed, it would like... She, I told them she's kind of loose, so, you know. Now we're going to take and put the last curl in over to this other side. I'm sure you guys are saying, hey, Moo. <laughs> Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the love. I'm going to take my last piece. Once I've got my curls in, I'm happy with my flow. I, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of triangle placement, pop this one off to the right. And you can see how I'm letting this just flow differently. And that's going to go over to that side. So even though we use the curls, um, we didn't use them like the hair. We use the berries like the hair. We're using the curls as the accent pieces. And we don't have to have tons of stuff. We just have three elements here. I'm going to pop in my last berry kind of coming right underneath the bow like it's a little bit of her bangs. And I think we did it. We did it. I think she's super cute. She's fun. She's whimsical. You can add brooms. You can give her candy. You can give her more pumpkins. You can go to town. But this simple recipe of berries, curls, hat, and legs is easy peasy to follow and you can do it too. It's too fun to create some pink designs with the pop of black and y'all we're going to pull in the drama of Harlequin to this design. It's going to be super duper cute. So let's get started. We need a primary focus for this wreath and you know we'll have our whole supply list for you over at Kalees.com. You can also text us supply. It'll send you the entire list of uh, the latest supply list we have online and it'll give you exactly what we're using. So we're starting off with a black swag and I've kind of made it flat to get it going. So this is designed to be solid and strong to create a swags on and it's a one stop rock and roll piece. So it's fluffed out and ready to go and it'll work great with that black behind the bright pink. So we're gonna put in a cute little pink plush hat and the way I like to do that is kind of have it go a little bit catty corner so it's little body can sit out here and what I'll do is I'll run a cable tie right through here and we'll just attach her. So I'm gonna make a couple little holes and then we'll run it right through. I'll put my cable ties up because cleaning. <laughs> yeah, that was brief. So you run it through and it just goes like that and then we're able to put it right on our base. And I wanted to do it just kind of a little sideways right here so it'll be super cute. I'm gonna go a little higher than I think I need in case she sags down any. And then I'm going to just cable tie around. I want to get around that support base on there because you want it to be nice and strong and not flopping there. That's good. And you can choose which angle you want. I'm going to hook her to the right. All right. So once she's on, I pull it really tight and then I'm going to trim that end off. Okay. Beautiful. Now I'm ready to put my picks in. And one of my main cute picks is the witch's broom. Super cute witch's broom. And I'm going to have that kind of coming off her body. Um, I think at the same angle that she's at this way and just tuck it in. Now you can either take off that bow or use for something else or just leave it on. But I'm going to have these stay in the same angle because I've got a plan to use these bows on here in these areas. So once I know where I want that broom to be, I kind of grab another cable tie and we will get it ready to attach. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit and you can use the wires that come on the base too. I just like to, if I can secure it to the main base, I'm going to do that also. Especially on stuff here in the background of the design, because I don't have to worry about it popping forward for dimension yet. This is all in the background. So just make sure it's on there tight and safe, and then I'm going to cut that piece off. And I'll leave her little bow up here, because uh, you won't be able to see it really when you're rocking and rolling. Now it's pick time. And I'm going to use a couple of different picks. They're actually kind of sprays. They're large, but I want them to be large to shoot off the design. So I have got uh, two of these and three of these curly picks. So I've got five total. So I'm going to start off with the curlies. And we know we're going to have a bow here. So I want my first curly to kind of come up and off to the right, right up the middle. And I can manipulate these 
That's something I'm always teaching at design school is we're gonna manipulate the pieces we're putting in to work for us. So trim this down to about a six or eight inch stem. You still want a little length on it because I want to be able to come off the design pretty high. Oh, sorry guys. Let me put you guys up a little bit wider on the camera so you can see up at the top. So I'm gonna put a little glue on my stem. I've gone into my electric skillet with hot glue. And then I want this one to kind of shoot right up the middle. So I'm gonna go down right behind the hat. And what you want to do now is grab some of the pine around too so we have glue and we twist it in so we got double protection double the fun and then i'll take a twist a couple of these in too so that's something i'm always showing my design school students how to make things very strong and stable and uh you can see it's going up a little bit out of the camera let me see if i can move you up just a little it's tricky because i don't want you to miss the bottom so the first piece is in and we can bring it down a little too. Oh, perfect, super cute. So we're gonna work off that to place our other pieces. So our next one is gonna go over here to the right, off to this side right here, okay? And that'll be a great piece to kind of have under the hat. So I'm swirling that in the glue. And this one's gonna go right here, kind of where we have the witch's broom. Matter of fact, I think I'll go under that witch's broom and kind of let this work out here. And then I'm making sure the pine's holding it for safety and I'm using that glue to hold in there too. Isn't that cute? So cute so far. Easy, easy peasy. Use these curls, they are too fun. And then our third curl, uh, I'm gonna use it coming below down here, kind of coming out right on top of where we have the broom down here. So let me trim that one too, stem down. And we've got this cute little stem rocking and rolling. So these swags are meant to be easy. Uh, and the bow is really the focal points when we get ready to put the bows in. Now I did the bows on other videos for you to catch here and they'll all be linked in the supply list. So you won't have to worry about missing a thing. But our curls are in. So I've got one, two, three curls in. Now let's put the bows in. So the bows we did couple of different ones. I did a funky bow. So that's one that doesn't have long tails. The tails go up and down. And I know I want her way up here, kind of tucked off to the side. So we're going to put her in on some of those pine pieces up here and just secure it right in. She's going to look super cute up here. And I kind of like her sideways. And let me make sure she's not going to slide off and trim that stem of the cable tie and I'm gonna fluff these up. Now I like for the blow, bow to break the plane of the hat and kind of come over and, and kind of be over the top of the hat too. I always think that looks cute and fun. So you're gonna see me do that a lot when I put bows or pieces in. Okay, oh my gosh, how cute is that? Now our second bow is gonna work opposite. Remember we put this this way, so these things can work the opposite way. So this one's gonna come in right here. It's gonna go between these two curls right here. And it's gonna be at the bottom. And that will look super cute because the broom is right next to it and the, uh, the other curly pick. All right, so we've got our basic bows in. They're not basic, but they're pretty good. <laughs> well, we can't call them basic bows. They're, they're higher level bows. But you could do them. You could do them, guys. Just follow the bow video. You can learn how to make that bow and put it in there too. Now, let's let these come down. Now, you can see the lines. Like we have the uh, broom going this way with the body of the hat. And then we have our super cute bow tucked in here with our curls. But we're not done yet. We're gonna take some of these pieces right here that are our curly picks. And we're gonna add these in along with a little bit of black pine over here kind of fill her in a little more dimension let me show you let me show you let me show you so this is our pine garland that we use um, that the base was made out of we're gonna take and add a little bit of picks in here to fill it out and then add the curly picks so what I want you to do with this is we're not gonna use the whole garland we're just gonna use a few pieces and I want you to take and make some cute little picks to kind of beef up your base a little so you can take a garland and if you use this trick at Christmas, you can do the same thing. You can beef it up with little sections right here. 
And then that adds just this cute little touch in there. So I'm gonna take and put in one of these right where this curly pick is, right behind it. Oh my gosh, see how cute that is now? And I can kind of add some body to that area. Okay, I love it. And you can definitely let your curls curl all around it. Now let's grab one more piece. And I like to keep these on hand for every season, different colors to fill in, just because you can add so much uh, body without adding a lot of price. Because these are less than twenty dollars, and you can get a lot of a lot of cuts out of them. All right, so just make sure you stay with the proper direction. I'm going to take a couple and have them come from under the bow. So that means I need this one to kind of come down just a little as she's flowing out of the bow for a second, just to kind of fill in. There we go, a little more body. Let's put another piece up there with that top curly pick. I want her to, I want her to be popping, y'all. And she is already popping. Can you imagine her on a white front door? She's going to pop. I'm gonna make this one a little longer so we can go up there with that curly pick at the top. Okay? And you can add as much or as little as you want. I just like filling in a little bit with these. So use the same technique. We got some glue going in and then we're taking and weaving it around. And we're adding some great body to the whole piece so that those curls have a little more pizzazz. Yes, I like that too. All right, let's take a look at it. I think maybe a little bit under this one too, on this side. I put a little bit under there and I think we got it. So we didn't even use half the garland, just about a third of it, I would say. Let me do my last piece. Now, if you want more coming out the bottom, you could do that too, but we kind of want the tapered look. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's put this one under here. So I'm just gonna give it a swirl in the glue pot. And then you're gonna not only glue it in, but you're gonna come back and you're gonna make sure it is secured with the pieces of pine from the base too. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. There we go. And then pull your curls to the front. We don't wanna hide them. Pop that bow back over. Get our hat looking super, oh, she's so cute. She's got her hat, she's got her broom. Yeah, that pine adds a great bit of pop of dimension. Now, can you see how cute? Oh my gosh, super cute. All right, now it's time for our curls. And these curls come in three. So we're gonna break them up so we can get a couple of different pieces out of them and use them all around. So just take and cut everybody. You do want a little bit of a longer stem as you can get on here. So we can get this into six pieces. Cause I wanna use this all around my whole swag. Okay, so cut this one a little bit longer. We're gonna do that with both stems. Really the middle one is gonna have a shorter stem than everybody. So but let's start at the top with our longer stems and really kind of complement what else we've got going around. So I'm gonna start with having a couple come out from underneath my bow up here. So I can let those rock and roll out of here. And we already put a little extra pine there, so that works great. I can use that to hold on. Just go around and then let that curl come out. There's number one curl, super cute right there. Let's put number two. I'd like for it to kind of come over, break the plane of the hat. I'm a big fan of that, like I told you. We want our other elements to overlap slightly. Give it that little mixed in look. Instead of it just like set in there, it's mixed in. Oh my God, cute. So we've got two curls there. Now let's come and pop a couple. Um, we've got this fun one here. Let's put one like coming out of the middle of the bow down here, kind of coming up. I love this polka dot in there too. So I'm gonna get a good amount of glue on it. Yeah, yes. Glue, glue, glue it up. Keep that glue, glue merino spirit up. Okay, right out the center. Perfect, fluffy bow. I like her coming out of there, that looks cute. Now, let's come work down here. We still have three pieces left. I really want to use something coming out of here. Let me move the camera a little bit so you guys can see that a little bit better. Are you gonna see it? Let me zoom in. Right down there to the bottom, right in here. I'm gonna take my first piece and let it be nice and long. 
and kind of come out of my curlies. Come on out. Yeah, coming out. I love how this matches perfectly because it just doesn't, it just coordinates so good. I can see a little of my glue, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the pine covers it right now. You take care of that when you see it because you will forget about it and you don't want it to get shipped to somebody if you're selling them and you missed covering up some mechanics. We're going to try to be super professional in our designs and finish them out nicely so we can charge you know, premium prices and provide premium quality work. Oh my gosh, those look so cute in there. I love that, I love that. Now I'm gonna take and trim down this tail just at the top, just a little bit. It's a little bit longer than I want it, but I like it overlapping just a little. Perfect. So you can go right there. All right. Now this last piece, I think we'll put it on the very, very top. So let me bring her down a little and I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring her out of the top. I'm caught on the nail. She's got a hanger here at the top. That's the nice thing about these swags. They come with a hanger built in. Y'all, I love that we beefed it up with just a little bit of garland uh, because really that gave us an inexpensive pick to put in there to make it a little thicker and fuller. And y'all, we did it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at her. Oh my goodness, she's the cutest swag. If you love making projects like this, you've got to come join us in design school. Head over to wreathteacher.com. I'd love to have you on our class. It's kalisdesignschool.com or wreathteacher.com. You can come join us. And every week I'm teaching designs like this, uh, even higher level. Uh, but I teach you step by step. So it, it takes you through the process easy. And um, any level you're at, you can take away something from our class, whether it's construction, business tips, or maybe you're just beginning and you need to know the basics. We've got it all for you. We're gonna make the cutest swag guys on pine base that is only 24 inches long, but don't worry. We're gonna come way off of it and we're gonna design beautifully right on top of an economical piece just like this. We've got an entire supply list ready for you. Just let us know if you need it. It will also be in the description of this video. We are gonna be using a couple of ball picks. We're gonna use three of these purple, orange, and black. They are just excellent to use for Halloween. Of course, we got our cute little witch's head. We're gonna be using this one and her legs. Her legs are gonna go in there too. They're scrawny, but they're perfect for this look. Oh, and two ribbons. We're gonna use some ribbons that have all those colors because we'll be making a pretty bow to go in. I have taken and flattened out the swag base. So these are 24 inch swag base, which is kind of smaller than you're used to using if you're designing a lot, but they're perfect for things where you don't even care if this part shows we just want this to be our support for the whole design we're going to take these pieces and we have already uh shaped them up or as i'd say in design school we've shaken hands with them and we have spread them all completely out and what we're going to do is we're going to start to lay them on the base and we want them to come way off we don't even want to see the the pine by the time we get a lot of our supplies in here we want that to kind of disappear so i'm going up high that way and just crisscrossing them and we're going to make them into somewhat of a little bit of a triangle pattern. And when you do that here, you'll see that they all intersect right here in the center. And you know that's where you're going to want to get a cable tie and tie them on tight to the base. So I'm not even going to use glue yet. I'm just going to tie, cable tie this in right to the middle. So get that nice and tight. Okay, and now this is all nice and stable. And guess what I can do? I can manipulate all these pieces however I want, all right? And use them to uh, shape out with all of that dimension and movement. That really matters in the final look of your piece. So I'm gonna cut this off. And what you wanna do, go around, is cut off any of these wires that are just kind of overextending and we don't need them. We need them at that crisscross point, but then any of these other pieces can just come right out. Okay, now this little piece here, I'm also gonna trim off because it's gonna be hidden behind her head. And you know what, it'd be much more effective if we could use it up a little bit higher here. So anything that will be hidden by um, another main piece you're gonna put in, just kind of take them, cut them out, and glue them right where they are, just make them a little bit longer. So I just glued that into the pine and I like to give it a little twist around. 
Just a little more support there. This one also here will be covered, so I'm gonna pull it out and we'll hold it off to the side and we'll bring it back to the foreground. So let's get the head in because that's gonna be something that's taken up a lot of space. She's got this really cool hair. We're gonna split the hair down the middle. All right, and I'm gonna put her in off to the side with her hair on either side. That way I can make sure that hair is gonna get shown really pretty above the bow and, and uh, not just be hidden all up. So I just separated it out. I also have glued her hair, her not her hair, but her hair, her hat just back just a little bit so we can see her eyes really good. Now she is gonna go off to the, kind of off to the left because I want her to be a little bit off center right here. Pull her hair off to the sides. Now I wanna go ahead and mount her right here. So I'm gonna grab a cable tie also and we're gonna tie her in right on the back of her head right here. Okay, so just cut a couple of split, a little slits into the, it's kind of feltish. So it's really easy to just trim into that material and it doesn't, not heavy at all. And you can see how I've just gone through her, her head. Now I'm gonna take and just flip this around and we're gonna table, cable tie this to these pieces that we have right behind here of pine. And we'll have a nice secure placement of her head. I'm gonna get that nice and tight. And she's just gonna go shoot off to the left, which is perfect. And then her hair will come down later, but right now I'm just gonna keep it out of the way because it's one of the cutest things we've got going, but I don't wanna get it all mixed into the pine yet. Okay, so her head's in, her cool pics are going on behind her, and now we're ready to get her legs in. Uh, I love these kind of projects because they do go quickly. They're fun to make. So her legs, they're gonna go in here. We want them on the same angle as her head. So she doesn't look like her legs are totally. So I'm gonna kind of just come right here where her other pieces were. Let me trim it down a little bit. So we're gonna put this right in that same area and I'll cable tie her little legs in also. Right in there, let me grab another cable tie and we'll put them in. See how cute? Now, after that, we're gonna be putting in the ball sprays, which make it so easy to kind of get all those balls put in this piece easily. Now look. Take and bend her legs up funny. Get them going cute. Let her kick them up. Yeah, isn't that cute how her feet are going over here? Look at that. And this bow goes right into her body here and her hair is gonna come in around it. You see how cute she is already? So keep that in mind. That's where the bow is going. We've got to add those balls in, okay? Now we have this line going of her legs kind of from her head this way. We've got this line going with all these balls here. So now, we're gonna add this in, kind of working against that. And we want these to work opposite right here. So once again, you're gonna make another cluster. When you're doing these little cluster designs, they go very quickly. So I'm gonna take and trim both of these down. And we're gonna add a cable tie in between to secure them. This one, we're gonna go opposite each other and go right here. Okay, and you see here, I'm gonna bring that hair down like I talked about, bring it down a little bit. Put the balls right there. Oh, so cute. Now. Get this tight, and we want to attach this to that same center section where we're putting everything else. So we'll have our two ball sprays going right over the legs and all the other pieces. So it makes it super strong here in the middle. Very easy to do, but nice and strong. Okay, go opposite. <gasps> Cute. And everybody's wire, remember, so you'll be the hero when this is done. Okay, that's in. Now, before we even fluff up, what I want you to do is put the bow in. So one more cable tie in that same zone right here, a little bit below her chin. Hey, that works great. Then I get some balls above and some balls below her chin. Go in under, put the bow in. Now you can angle that bow kind of like to match her hat and her legs. So that's going this way. So I would suggest doing that too. Just give it a bit of a twist and bring them down. Okay, now let's get that tight again. We gotta get it in there tight so we can get it on. Isn't she cute? And you're gonna be shocked how really stable she is and well constructed, as opposed to just gluing and poking pieces in. We've got a really nice strong swag that you're gonna be proud to hang on your door or to sell in your Etsy shop. This type of pieces usually sell very quickly for me because they're just simple and easy and they're just what the doctor ordered and if you've been wanting to try one of your own pieces like this i encourage you to give it a try 
Now our last little ball pick was left, remember, from everything else. Look how cute she is. She is so cute. Y'all, make sure you catch the finished pictures. This one we're gonna take, I'm gonna swirl it in the glue pot here. And we're gonna take and just tuck this in on this side of the bow into the pine. And then that'll give us a little bit of that same pick coming out of the bow. Isn't she cute? She's wild, she's wonderful, and I know you can make her. I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.